Yo, people, welcome to another episode of No Damn Filter. As you can see beside me, got a very special guest today. Yes, 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 yes. Come all the way down from Brighton. Emergency oh, nah. thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not where he's from. Not, not from Brighton. That's where he's <laughs> from. Just, just work down there today. <laughs> 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 not from Brighton, it's but emergency good. thing. Nah, I appreciate you coming yeah, on, no worries, bro. Yeah, 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 you already know our faces, man. You ain't got it. What, should we Max. introduce ourselves properly? Or? Yeah, just in case that's someone's first time. So we're qualms, in case shysty. <laughs> <laughs> you know the vibes when we're out here. You get me? Come on, England, but we ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> we, you know. We. Man, you said it's not a we thing? It's not a we thing. It's not a we thing, no more. Bro. Do you know say, what? Say your, say your thing. Bro, born and raised in England, innit? You get me? So you got to cheer them on. I don't know if I want to wee them. You get yeah. Car. So you cheering on? Man. Huh? Who you cheering on? Jamaica, not in the Euros, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is? Obviously, Come I'm going to cheer them on because it's the Euros and obviously I'm from England, like, as in born and raised, but I just feel like with this whole booing of the knee and that. Okay. Do you get it? I just feel, I don't know, man. I feel a certain type of way about that shit, man. I just feel like there's a lot. As, bro, a, black, as, a, as, lot a, black, as the, a black man, we can't really support. No, 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 no. Of course you can, bro. I, yeah. I'm, I'm happy when they okay, look okay, like, okay, you get cool, it. Cool, but cool. this whole racism thing that's been going on, obviously mm. there's a lot of racism going on in England. We've discussed it already. Mm. Yeah. But the whole, I don't know, man. I, I just have this stance, yeah. Um, Obviously you used to kickball, you can say your thoughts as well. I just think that a lot of upcoming black players should start playing for the mob, their actual countries rather than playing for England. Mm. Personally, mm. personally. And I understand that, obviously, I can't explain, we spoke about this the other day. England, obviously it's England, it's huge. The, yeah, the, that's the, like the pinnacle though. The really. facilities yeah. playing for England, the money that they have, all of that. It's just the competitions right. as well, the countries we face. What's your take yeah. on that, man? What, what country are you from? Yeah, what Congo. country are you from? Congolese, Congo. yeah. Oh, Congo okay, got a good okay, national yeah, team okay. still. Mm. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, our team's decent. Our yeah. team's decent, good players. In that. I just think that with all the with all the talent, the black talent that England, that, that come through, like, you know, the Sterlings and players like that or whatever, mm. there's a lot of good black players. I feel like if everyone just played for their actual countries like Jamaica, Congo, uh, Nigeria, whatever. But I mean, there's loads, Guyana, oh, all nah, black so places like that. Yeah. I don't know, I just think that, I just think that it would just be lit, bro. I think, I think it, like someone's got I don't got know, a, I don't know how I feel about that one. Still, mm, like, mm. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, it's, it was, it's nice to obviously play for your, your home nation, I guess, but yeah. if you got a chance to play for your home nation and for England, mm. I guess depending on where you're from. You know, I mean, you could be Portuguese and English, so you've got mm. two options there, mm. but you could be, English and let's say from Congo, mm. who obviously the national team is not as lit as England, and it's like not as seen as yeah. the pinnacle of football. Do you know what I mean, they've got Champions League and mm. then there's international. Yeah, yeah. Do you get? So yeah. I can get why it was the first option to play for England. It's like one of the greatest achievements to probably get. But don't get me wrong, it's a great team playing for your actual name, your home nation, but to get that England call, I think it's be that extra special. I think, if that makes sense. I think like people, some people ain't even really in touch with their. Heritage, with their yeah, roots, yeah, like with their roots and that. Some you people say that, are, but they, may not, they may not speak <laughs> the language. Yeah, I know like. you say that, but I guarantee you, a lot of these black players, their parents came to England from there. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. obviously, yeah. some like, of them, some yeah. of them. They're but probably the first. The gen- they're can, probably the first generation that's actually been born. But I can guarantee have, you that many of them have never even been to their home country. How about that? Okay, they, but okay. they ain't been in touch. Do you not don't help as well? Like, if you're playing for England youth all the way up mm. like you're, okay, you're doing that for a reason that. but it? obviously like, the point that, that you're that's making that's not one yeah the point that you're making about it's the pinnacle like are you saying it's the pinnacle because england are obviously one of the best countries in the world is that what you're saying or more or less because no. the more, point more i'm trying to make is more, i want these black countries in the caribbean and in africa i want them to, to become the best be, in the world. I hear you, Do you man. get it? I, I hear what you're saying. England, like, England in the world rankings are in top 10. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. they're second or something. You, you or third or something. Second? Something dumb like that. So, I don't know, after that. these... Up, before like, the it could be top five. Like third it, or something. Yeah. They cannot be I remember, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> it cannot could be, be top five. So. I know, but that's you know what I mean? I'm saying. Yeah, obviously, so I understand it there, but it's just disappointing when men are doing the the knee before kickoff and... Got getting them, booed, bro, in a stadium. As a black man, play. You're you're about to yeah, play for this country, bro. You're about to play for these guys, and they're booing you because, and mm. while you're kneeling for Black Lives Matter, bro, it like, just makes me feel like I kind of had this thought before, but now I think it more, bro. I don't think these don't respect know, we know, us we know enough, what's bro. Our country in, man. 
Do you know what mm. I mean? Like we, we know in it there's, there's stuff that's happening. Do you know what I'm saying? So I think that with those sort of situations, the, the back players do. I think they they come together, yeah. tunnel visioned. You got, you got you got to block it out, bro. Yeah, you know we I mean? saw and I spoke about this on a pod uh, last pod as well. Um, for an example: Hudson Odoi preseason went back to his country. I forgot where he's from. Where's Ghana. he from? Ghana. Ghana, Ghana, bro. The love that he was receiving. They were showing him ten thousand people yeah, coming to that. see him, see and that. I'm thinking, bro, that's the, that's, like, that's go play love. for your team, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. that. Come on, man. Nah, you're yeah. a hero that's, that's there, different fam. side. You've seen it. That, yeah, that bro. You, you don't received. get that in England, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man. Um, what's what's my man's name? Man United Ghanaian player. Ah, uh, defender. Young boy, I can't remember his name. It's left my mind. Centre back. Yeah, centre back. Fossey Mensah. Yeah, Spencer. yeah them two there were receiving. Yeah, bro. Kind of all these players, bro. Imagine still. Sterling when they played for Jamaica and mm. Sancho when they played for there. lit, man. We know Rashford this. played for here yeah, and we, bro. Yeah, we, we know bro, this. it'll be lit, bro. <laughs> Fuck England, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm just annoyed that there's a whole. It's 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 the booing like like for would me. It's can just I ask you like, was, so through your career, like, did you s- like see any? I don't want to say the word racism, but Maybe like, were you treated differently for like, any? To be fair, it, happen, it ain't happened to me personally. Okay, okay um, I've okay. seen it happen. Um, probably one time sticks in my mind on one of our goalkeepers when I was at Epsom United. Mm-hmm. He got racially abused by people from that the away fans in the. Okay, okay the yeah, that's. I yeah. think that's that's, a bit that's probably the one only one I actually seen or actually witnessed. Okay. So let's okay. obviously, for those who don't know, mm-hmm. um, where did you start off at as a young? Young so, boy. do you know what? I got into football kind of late, you know. Like, you know, mm. usually you start at like what, eight, nine? Mm. I was 12. Okay. I joined my first team. I think I was like year eight, I think. I went to, I went to, I went to Queen's Park school. We got Queen's Park and that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Marlon went there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I went I went to Queen's Park and I was playing for the school team. And a few of the guys all played for the same team called Kensington Dragons, Labour Grove. Mm. St. Mark's Park, we used to play there. So, they was like, oh, might as well come down and play for us, innit? I was like, cool, I'll come to a couple of sessions and I'll see what we really popping. Went there, liked it, signed for it. Sign for them and that, and then um, our goalkeeper at the time, his dad was a Charlton scout. Okay. And then um, he also watched our school games and he came to our Sunday league team games. Mm. And then, boom, gave me a card to listen. I'll invite you down to, to Charlton for a six weeks trial. Oh, okay. right. Yeah. So, was you always a centre back? Because you were a centre back. No, nah, do you know what? I started as a striker. Yeah. Oh, I thought you was yeah. going to say that. <laughs> Hannah, that's why <laughs> I asked the question. As, as, a, as a young boy, you grow up watching yeah. the, yeah, the goal scorers, just isn't it? Yeah. I mean, look yeah. at the centre backs and that. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. I, was in, I was in year six. We had a school game, and my teacher at the time was like, all right, cool, we're not scoring any goals. I had a bare chance, so I didn't really score in it. Mm. One of the guys got injured, the defenders. He goes, yeah, do you mind playing there? I was like, all right, cool. And then he's like, I think you're a better defender than your striker, you know? <laughs> you put in a shift there. Yeah, and I was like, okay. <laughs> and, and, you know, I liked it, it was enjoyable. Yeah, you know, yeah. cool, I'll stay here. And from then, I was a set of you always have, because obviously, they won't sit on camera, you're quite a tall yeah, six foot three. Have you always been like that? I've from been tall. Yeah, I've always okay. been tall. So I, I've had that advantage. Yeah. Okay, okay. So at Charlton, you went straight as a centre back. Yeah, yeah, straight in as, as a centre back. Okay. Back. What age was that? Do you say under? Under our first one, Charlton, I was under twelves. Okay. 12. That, for someone that started ball late, that's kind of impressive. Still, <laughs> that's a good yeah, intro. Yeah, that's played. a big intro. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. For the Sunday league, I played like eight games, I think. That's my first season. ever eight games. Swear, oh. only eight games in Sunday league, eight and then you were straight. I got the card in the that so is I still play them for the season obviously back and forth and trial okay, and okay, play for them okay. and that but okay these what, eight what, games. if you don't mind saying mm. uh, don't want to make you feel old or anything but what year was this again like oh jeez <laughs> <laughs> I'm never too sure you know <laughs> 2000 mm. nah 5 probably 5 okay okay, okay. 4 I'll probably say 04 no actually no no no, no, no. Cause them times, that's what I was saying. Them times, okay. Well, Say Mourinho just landed. Yeah. Was in Prem yeah, one. Yeah, them times, see, yeah, I thought so. Yeah, so yeah. that's a big Premier move, bro. You just kick ball eight games or first eight games. You've gone to. Like Premier, they didn't really Premier deep League. it as well. <laughs> yeah, until, you're young. Yeah. You didn't until about it, maybe a few months in, that I'd probably say. How old are you at this time? I was twelve. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I what? See. Um, since then you was just there for years, right? Yeah, I was there until I was twenty three. Wow, so that's about ten years. I, I didn't even realize years, it was. Yeah. What, so, what, what players were you playing with at this time? I'm um, sure there was when, when I first started. Yeah, around that same. I'm thinking about that same age group because people, the people come up from Charlton and go to the first team from there as well. Um, yeah, yeah quite uh, any like bus. notable names. Yeah, really, you got or? people like you know, first Char- Charlton's academy is one of the the best in England. I probably mm, say mm. like the, the players that they produce is just it's just quality in it. But probably guys from my age like John Dushelvi at Newcastle. Okay. Um, he's gone and played first team, obviously, he's playing for England. Yeah, Carl Jengerson, mm. that played for Arsenal. Mm-hmm. 
Um, you got man like Joe Gomez, yeah. Pink Liverpool. Oh yeah, Joe Gomez. Yeah. Shemir yeah. Jai, yeah. West Brother Jarbian. Okay, okay. okay. Ezra okay. Aston Villa. There's, okay. there's, quite, there's quite a few. John Joe Shelby, how... Is he yeah, got, I like Shelby still. Yeah, yeah, I like Shout him. I feel Shelby. like he's a very tech tough football Baller. player. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Tech, tech man. man. <laughs> tech man. Tech man. That's one of Baller. my... Like, he's one of... For the culture, he's one of my favourite players. Baller. Yeah, when I see him play, I'm just like, yeah. Baller. I was going to say, he game. deserves more England yeah, caps still. Yeah, yeah, I rate Shelby, man. Bro, he's a baller, bro. <laughs> absolute baller. Like, he's, he's, a, he's a joke. Back in the day, did he used to do some crazy things? Yeah, like? yeah, yeah. Remember when I first, when I first came to my first um, um trial, mm. the first day, I was thinking, right, who's this, who's this, who's this bold you? Like, you know, he's got no <laughs> hair. Yeah. And I think, all right, cool. <laughs> and then, bro, they started out the, the passenger and that. I know this time I'm kind of raw. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not really used to this, this whole sort of thing. And then I was just going back and forth, thinking, right, like, who's this guy? You see his neat and ball touch, mm. the way he swags it in. I was thinking, yeah, they played a little mini, mini games. Mm. I was thinking, nah, look at this guy, bro. Yeah, man. Just so whipping it in, left foot, right foot. I was thinking, nah, this guy. Was he always a centre mid? Yeah, so he's always been a, a CM. Okay, okay. He's okay. always he's always played like years above as well, because he's obviously he's that good in it. So he's been playing. With the older years, basically. Did he go from Charlton straight to Liverpool? Yeah. I swear down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. What was, was the. Um, I mean, they about 16, bro. Mm. Number seven shirt, come on, man. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's big news, bro. I hear it still. Nice guys, one very nice yeah, guy. Yeah, what, what was the experience Charlton. like at Charlton, just coming up through the academy? Do you know um, what? It's it, it's nice. I've met a lot of great people, man. Like yeah. a lot, of, not just football players. I'm talking like coaches, backroom staff, chef, groundsmen. So like it's just been nice, bro. Like um, it's, it's a family club, yeah. nice family club. Everyone knows each other, and that it was it's, it's tight knit. Um, but growing up, the growing up through the for the youth team there was just sick. And did you did you did you go to the first team in the end? Or? I did. I made I played I made uh, four appearances for the first team. Okay. Before I left, mm. um, but even those experience was was sick. Like, would, would you say yeah? Um, I wanted to ask because I've got a friend who plays pro now, and he says that a lot of people say to him because he 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 turned pro through like a college program way. Oh yeah, yeah. A lot yeah. of people come up to him and say, "Oh, like I wish I'd done it that way rather than through." academies i don't know why i don't know like mm. whether the academy sells you dream or whether it doesn't really prepare you properly for men's football i don't know the reasoning but would you say that what would you say is like how can i explain would what? you say like there was anything in the academy like did, did you would you say they prepared you properly for first team in what age is in like from 18 probably or scholar or age yeah. scholar ages. Scholar ages. Also, scholar ages. also what i was gonna say is so say for example a lot of these guys at these championship level premier league level clubs yeah. they'll then get a loan move mm -hmm. to like a league two or something but mm -hmm. i feel like the ball game is a little bit different there or even to a non-league team and that yeah um and i remember what was it um i think the stevenage manager once was saying that i get all these guys on loan from these premier league clubs on big money whatever da, 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 but they can't handle it in league two and i'm not saying they can't handle it obviously they're ballers bro they play yeah they're, they're ballers that's always happens it, but though. Yeah, they're the ballers ball but it's just different man it's, it's physical obviously if you're coming on loan from like a premier league team you're probably playing 2023s whereas it's not as com not as physical it's just more more technical okay. so when you get thrown into like a league two team the ball's in the air by about eight percent of the time, mm -hmm. it's a different ball game, man. Because when you was at Charlton, <laughs> did you get any <laughs> loans? Yeah, I got I got quite a few non-league ones. When I was from like seventeen. Yeah. So what was 20. that like? Because non-league, yeah, yeah it's that's getting so a bit that, better. That now. was different back then. Back then, it was a bit more, a bit more gritty, a bit, bit more raw. Back yeah, then. that's what I was gonna say. Um, it was, it's tough for me up though, um, but it was <laughs> good experience. It's tough, obviously, playing on like a Tuesday night mm. and a Saturday, men paying for points. Um, to was have a fight relegation or trying to get promotion, but it's certainly different. You know what I mean, it's more competitive. Yeah, yeah. Would you say the expectation of you was high coming from like Charlton? Not really, you know. I didn't. I didn't feel that. Um, I just felt like I was not one of the guys, really. Well, okay. was there any pressure like in the academy? No, no not really. Oh, in the, in the academy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Probably pressure from yourself, innit? Because you're trying to. It, it, you got to perform. You have first to. and foremost yeah, you have to perform. Um, mm. it's, a, it, it's very competitive. It's just like the first team. It's just competitive. Okay. We've got start eleven. Got your reserves and people who miss out just by I'm saying by chance. Mm. So there's a lot of competition for the actual shirt, and if you don't perform, you won't get that pro contract. And mm. it's, it's it's a fight, man, for that pro contract, man. Is what was it like? Um, obviously, growing up playing for Charlton, mm. but um, just like just growing up in general. Obviously, you're from you Northwest said, London. Where did you yeah. say you grew up in Labour Grove? Yeah. No, I grew up in South Kilburn. South, South Kilburn. Kilburn. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, okay, growing yeah. up there, there must have been obviously. I think that's been there must have been. Distraction, like even just as a boy in general, growing up, girls what? partying, drinking. Do you know what? Not really, you know. Really? Not not for me anyway, Carl. When growing up, growing up in South Kilburn was um, you had youth clubs. 
Mm. Used to go there all the time. Oh, I'm, I'm in the park okay, playing club. ball. Okay, club. Got a Marion Center. Mm. So there's, there's a lot of things to do. People, you've not got you've got, you're playing out with the, the locals. I didn't really get drawn into like the whole gang violence all that stuff. Okay. I didn't really see it if I'm, if I'm honest. Okay. Back then, it wasn't okay. really visual to me. Okay. So um, just normal stupid schoolboy, normal guy. Like ah, obviously okay. got girls, run after girls, uh, yeah. that stuff and that. But I never actually got thrown off playing ball at all. Okay. Was your schedule never. quite strict playing? For Charlton, <sighs> kind of not really. In in the in the academy days, you train twice a week. Twice, um, twice really? a week. Yeah, Tuesday, Thursday, mm-hmm. and then sometimes on a Saturday morning, and then a game on Sunday. Okay. So maybe three times a week you train game on Sunday. Mm-hmm. That probably helped that you had like a schedule. Yeah, that kind of helped as well. So obviously I was kind of in early. Mm-hmm. Um, if I was if I was out, I wasn't out too far. Probably in the podium playing football. So um. That podium. That's my doors. What was it like? Days, podium. Yeah, oh, that's my <laughs> What was it like? Um breaking because you said you got broke through to the first team mm. right what was that like and where were Charlton at that point were they when we broke into the first team probably it was championship in league one no league one. one swear they got a back to back relegations in it yeah. so we jumped on to league one I made it in league one one's tough um, made my debut at 17 made my debut oh it was, it was that young in, uh, uh, what was that must have felt Colin crazy Cup, Carabao Cup one or two um, mm. no Johnson felt. Johnson paint pot trophy okay against Barnet one 4 nil. come off the last I think 20 minutes. It's a little clean sheet as well. Clean sheet. It was nice though. It was good. Come <laughs> on, first head up, Bosch. Nah, okay. it, was, it was nice. You saying friends. bonus? <laughs> <laughs> nah, as, a, su- as a defender, you always win in your first head. Oh, that's it? Like, yes, it's central, man. Exactly. You, so you, just, you just feel nice in it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. I mean? It just sets you off. Who was the manager? Uh, Phil Parkinson. Then? Phil that's Parkinson. Him. Phil Parkinson. He's been about, to be fair. I'm trying to think if I have seen a bit before our time. I remember <laughs> Alan Kerbishley and them, man. Alan Kerbishley. I was young when he was there. Okay. And Chris Powell? Chris Powell, yeah. Chris he Powell. He wouldn't let me go, Chris Powell. He wouldn't let you no, go? No, he let me go. Oh, he let oh, you he go. Let you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. was there like a specific reason why they let you go or? His reasons were, so I went out on loan that season. I went to AFC Wimbledon in League Two at the okay. time from like October to December. Then League One. What age was this, sorry? This was, I was about 23, 22, 23. Okay. Um, 2013, I'd probably say that season, that year. I went, lo- I went on loan to Shrewsbury Town in League One. Had a sick loan, like, done well, played a month, a couple of times, mm. cool. I went back thinking, oh, I'll get a new deal because my trunk contract was up in the summer. I was thinking, boom, I'll get a new deal. I got called up to the office. He's like, you know what, Yads, um, it's going to be a big regret when I'm off your new deal. Mm. My reasons are, it's because we feel now you can play men's football at a high level. Um, you can go and make a name for yourself elsewhere and come back. Who knows, maybe might buy you back one day or you might even go to the top of a bar, mm. cool. What can you say to that, bro? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Deep down, I don't understand that one about we feel like you can play men's I football. Think, uh, is that not just an excuse? Is, do you I, really, I, I, yeah. I, I I thought, you know what, at least give me a, a chance good, at yeah, least. Yeah, give, me, yeah. give me like an extra year yeah. of a nice pre-season. Yeah. I might go and loan somewhere, you know, maybe in a champ because they got promoted or whatever to the champ or a nice, another league one team but higher up. Mm. Who knows? Do you know what I mean? Mm. So, is he the one that sent you on loan as well then? Yeah. 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 Okay, 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 okay. Okay. So you know when they ha- said, you know when um, managers send you on loan, um, do they speak to you about your loan? What like do they set you do any you know targets? I got, a phone call. I got a phone call. It was on a on a coach going to a reserve game, going, mm-hmm. going to Cardiff. I got a phone call. Oh, you're going to loan? Not from him directly. Your mm-hmm. agent? Not from my agent. I think okay. another coach called okay. our coach. Okay. And told him to tell me. Yeah. I had to get off and <laughs> get a taxi and then go play for seriously AFC Wimbledon on the same day. Same day. Yeah. What? Swear down. Yeah, so the, wait, you was on a coach to another match? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you have to sign anything before you played? No, I didn't say nothing, no. Right. I think everything was done anyway, so. Oh, okay. I oh, jumped really? off, I jumped Bruh. off the coach, I got a taxi, yeah. met the team at the hotel, and then played that night. But was you, what was you wearing, bro? Yeah. Like, I, was, I, was wearing, I was wearing the Charlton tracksuit. The one I got <laughs> there, they gave me the new AFC tracksuit. Seriously, track just like that? Just changed, yeah. I didn't had my boots, had my shin pads and everything. So you don't even know everyone's name. I like you. Don't even know your team. You know the shouting, bro. Must have been like, yo, this is nuts. Met everyone, shook their hands. Is that normal then, or is? Yeah, it's normal. Okay, this could happen. Right, it could happen. Okay, what was um? You see, like when you left Charlton. Mm. Do, do, do these clubs ever try and like help you push on somewhere else, or is it kind of like you're gone, you're off our books, goodbye, kind of thing? Do your kind own of, thing. Kind of. Once once you go, they you're gone. Do you know what I mean, you might stay in touch with other players or physios or coaches, or whatever, but you're gone. So they don't really try and help. They're you not find gonna the next. Yeah, no, not really. 
What about like, obviously you never got released at an academy level, but just for people watching, mm. when you leave an academy, do they help you? Or it's, is it the same? Is it kind of just? You've got you've got some places that can help you, like the PFA can help you, um, your, your agent can help you. Exit trials and stuff like Exit that. Exit trials, stuff like that. Your agent can help you, or your coach can help you as well. They also know other coaches, say, listen, you might like him, and they might help you through that way. Mm -hmm. um, but it is it's quite hard. Um, it's, not, mm. it's, it's not easy, but the thing is you shouldn't give up though just, just don't yeah, give up just keep yeah, going yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean yeah. like for me when I got released from Charlton I was thinking my phone was going to be going to be calling like baby my, call, my phone didn't ring bro that, uh, I was going to say like how it was did it didn't ring so I'm putting pressure on my agent he's like yo big man like mm. where's these phone calls he's like just give it time yeah just give it time I'm thinking yo the season soon start pre-season coming up next week and you had nothing What's, I had nothing bro how did that make you feel like yeah, mentally was you kind like, of, oh, like man, you've it, man it, been it there 10 years it was a big one it was a big one I was thinking ah like what like, what do I do here? Like, you know what I mean? I'm thinking, when I play in the league again, when I go non-league, I was thinking, nah, surely not. I've had a good season. Mm. Like, surely someone will take a gamble, but you just never know. And then um, I got a phone call in the end from Colchester. Oh, nice. And what league were they? They were like league two. Oh, nice. That's not bad. So then, I was thinking, oh, thank heavens. You know <laughs> thank God, yeah, that's a blessing. Jermaine you know I mean? was so. thinking, yes. Yeah. And then, yeah, went on charter Colchester. How was that mentally? Because... Um, you said you've been there since you were, what, year eight, year nine? Yeah. And you never experienced again getting let go. You know, like, yeah, when you're in school, yeah. you're that kid that, like, Charlton, everyone associates mm. you with Charlton, mm. growing up, Charlton, 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 mm. and then it's not, that like, completely worked out at Charlton. Like, how was that mentally? Do you know what? It was It was hard to take, I would have been like. Yeah. like when, he, when he told me, I fully cried. Mm. Okay. I walked downstairs. Mm. Obviously, I was, it was waiting downstairs, in it, in the fuse room, thinking, all right, cool, like, like what happened? Yeah. Oh, pressure a bit. And I was man. like, I think this is the part of football players that a lot of people don't. You don't really see. see. Yeah, 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 you don't really yeah, see yeah. the sort of side. Oh, it's, yeah. it's it's heartbreaking. Still, I was yeah. crushed, bro. Because that's thing. all you kind of know is football. Yeah, yeah. got a lot of Literally, friends there. Got a lot of friends. Mm. Like, I've been there you for quite your a long whole time. Yeah, your whole youth time. You know you've been saying? there, isn't it? And so, from what you said, it's like you didn't really expect it because you just had a good yeah. loan spell, isn't it? Like I didn't expect it, bro. You're thinking that's the last thing I thought. I thought, but I was I thought back back my mind thinking maybe you might say no, you know. But I was thinking, oh. What reasons has he got to say no? Because I've had a, a good long spell. When did Chris Powell come into management? At, at, um, I, I can't remember what year he came in, but um, was it the year he sent you on loan, or was it prior before this? Did you have a season with him? Yeah, had a, yeah. Were you trying to say like, did he see? Yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, even in the season with him. So in the season that he he had you, what was like? What was your connection with him? Like, was he, was, he, he was fine. Yeah, like, he's, he's was a great guy. Very okay, well spoken. Okay. Clear what he says. He doesn't really bullshit. He'll tell you really how it is. Really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I think we got along. We got along really well. It, it was calm. Like we had no issues, no dramas. Like it was just calm. Just, nice so guy, good coach. I respect black yeah. managers, man. Any black <laughs> manager I see, I'm rooting for. Yeah, him. No, he's a good one as well. He's actually <laughs> no, a good one. I mean, and you, oh you had so you had um, three, so three managers at Charlton. Mm. Who would you say was the best manager out of the three? Um, I'll probably say Chris Park, cause I, obviously because I was with him more. Okay, okay. Um, okay. With the others, I probably trained them a little bit. Yeah, and then be on the bench or. It wasn't as as close it was. Football was decent. We spoke quite a lot. Yeah. Like he was he was a decent guy. Um, I'm thinking a lot of people they, as much as the managers do like a, um they have their tactics on the pitch they say they play better. Some players are saying they have a better connection with certain managers on yeah, a yeah. one to one level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So some yeah, some yeah. managers just just it depends on the gaffer in it. Okay, some gaffers okay. can talk to you on, on a level, mm. and some choose not to. Some don't like that that friction yeah, they don't yeah, like it yeah. at all so they'd rather avoid it especially in a football league it's proper like you know what um, I mean it's, it's ruthless bro yeah it's ruthless isn't it? I think football in general is ruthless mm. it's a ruthless game but it's the sport we love isn't it Very <laughs> you know what I mean it's, I it's, it's, sort of it's way harsher when you look at it when you're in it to be honest from looking at it from the outside you'll never think that yeah, yeah, some yeah, of these yeah, players yeah. go through the things that they have to yeah, go through yeah, to yeah. make it to the level that they're at football football mm. can be a dark place Yeah, I don't think fans know that like when a player's injured that's one of the Darkest things, things you can yeah, be in. Yeah, like yeah. you just want to be out there training. I wanted to get into that because obviously you've had a few injuries mm. in your time. Did you get any injuries at Charlton in that run? No. Nah. So nothing? Nothing. Because obviously a lot of like, players will get these same injuries that's yeah. happening from No, young. this was totally totally new, totally fresh. Okay, so when did the injuries kind of start? Like, was it at Colchester? At Colchester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, literally, I got, I got told that same day, like, listen, we, we like you. Play tomorrow, we probably get a deal next week. I was like, oh, cool, calm. calm. I'm back on it now. Mm -hmm. Time to go up again. <laughs> Just get it. We go Just again. Keep performing. Yeah. <laughs> but that's that day. I felt kind of my knee felt kind of weirdish. I was thinking, okay. mm. this basically first day. No, it's not first day. It was like oh. after like a month in April. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so after I got told, I see we like you after the trial, and then uh, my knee felt kind of funny. I thought, oh, I don't know. I, I iced it. 
I went out and trained, felt all right, done like 11 v 11. I tried to turn. Mm. That's what I heard a little. Did you hear the pop? Little, I heard a, a little, a little something. Yeah. I tried to run it off, I was like, ah, oh, I dropped again, then my knee just literally just blew up. What is it? So what was the injury, ACL? It wasn't even the ACL, it was just like, behind my behind my kneecap, yeah. probably like some bones particles were all like falling off. Shoot. So they had to go and clean it all out. Damn. And Ooh. a bit of my media was damaged as well. Okay. We was we was actually just talking about injuries before on camera. How how that like, if you know how did these things occur? Like, is there something that would have triggered that, or is it just unlucky? It can be anything. Obviously, it, obviously, you can turn wrong, you, or you can get exactly, fouled, or exactly something. That you can turn wrong. Could be a tackle. You could um could be overwearing. hot ground, yeah. overbearing, overwearing, jump, uh, land funny. Yeah. Okay. You know I mean? Do you know straight away? Sometimes you do, yeah. If in that, that situation, if that painful, you know, straight away. In that situation, did you? Because it's your first time getting injured. I didn't know. I thought, oh, maybe a little, a little something. Yeah. I didn't think it'd be. Did it hurt like, like that. instant knee? It didn't really or? hurt either. It didn't really hurt either. I was thinking, okay, it's a little pop there. I try to so run again. And like, oh. Did this happen in game or training? Training game. Training, 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 training game. game. Okay, so how I went again the next day. How long did that set you back for? Oh, months, man. At least I'm a free agent. And that's your sure. oh. No income. Jeez. No team. Oh, so wait, Colchester didn't sign you? No. Oh, because of that? Oh, oh, I thought you were signed. No, okay, they, okay. they told oh, me. Fuck, man. They told you, they told yeah, me yeah, we yeah. like you. And we then like that's happened. Play a game tomorrow and then, boom. And then the day before the oh. game. And then boom. But, but I was thinking, because they told me that, mm. they'll probably look after me a little bit. And they didn't. They didn't still. Really? I guess, hardest, I guess different clubs got different budgets. Mm. Um, they couldn't obviously afford maybe to, to help me, but I had to do things myself. Damn, so you're so in recovery and physio all, all yeah. on your own back? That, that kind of hindered me. That was yeah, my of recovery. course, mentally that's going to be. My rehab is what killed me, I reckon. Mm. I didn't have the best rehab at all. Oh, because you were just doing it yourself, doing you myself. had nothing. Mm. I didn't have enough money to travel. I could have gone Charlton to travel, but I couldn't afford to get there. Jeez. So I had to, oh yeah, what would Charlton have just had you back to They would have helped me out physio wise, because I've been there for so long and knowing the physio that was down there. He's like, yeah, I can, I can help you out. I just couldn't get down there. Okay. And nice. at this point, are you 23, 24? Yeah, this one, 23, 24 now. Damn. Probably 24 now, yeah. So no deal, free agent, injured. Free man. agent, just, no income, unlucky, nothing, man. bro. It, it was the toughest time ever. Jeez. Would you say that's the I toughest point in your career? Oh, oh 100. 100%. And at that age, you got um, responsibilities, things to yeah, pay you got for now as well. Yeah, yeah, obviously, like, you, had, oh, you had cars and lease and all that. Mm. All that got done, taken from me. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's just like, fuck. Like, this is mm. actually. So you say, would you say that was your dark, the darkest period of? Oh, 100. Yeah, I can and tell, that man. period lasted quite a long time. I was thinking, I didn't, I didn't feel like I'll get out of it, that makes sense. Mm. Oh. How time. did, was there any like coping mechanisms? Do you know what it was? It's just, it's just weird. People always ask me, how are you not like depressed or blah, blah, blah. Mm. But I don't know, I, just, I always keep a smile on my face. You know? I mean, I always think, look at the bright side of things, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So. Nah, it's good that you it's look at just it. Just how way, I am, yeah. I'm saying. So it didn't really get me down too much. Obviously, I'm rot deep down in it, but I never of let course. people see that I'm rotting it. Yeah, that's so how Josh is as well. Do right? you know what I mean? So people think, oh, like he, he's, he's alright. Yeah. Like he's, he's got over it, but deep down, you're feeling it. Yeah, of course, bro, of it's, course, man. It's Cause from, at the end of the day, it's just you, like. Just get me. Yeah. You've grown up on kicking ball for your whole life, like you're thinking, yeah, I want to be a professional. Yeah. yeah like, so I was thinking, boom, would I would I play again? I was thinking, would I play again? But obviously, obviously, after a while. I did my own stuff and then I got back into playing non-league again. Okay, so yeah, so when you recovered, how did you kind of get back on? I didn't, I didn't feel the same at all after. Like, how long really? did it take? So, okay, so you say... So I was out for yeah. about eight months. Eight months, okay, though, that's a long but time. Oh, right. that's season, a season. season. Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, season. so I took, so I took like, two seasons out, just just let the time go by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I tried to come back into it again, but I didn't feel the same. Oh, so time. after the eight months, you still just took out the next season? Yeah, just I took to the next season. And just to get my head right, just to recover. In that time, did you just chill? Did you get a job in the I, meantime, I got a job, or? yeah, I got a part-time. So I started working. I worked in Greenwich, Waitrose. That was my really? first job down there. Was that yeah. something that kind of humbled you a bit or? Kind of. It was, loads of people get their first job when like 16, 17, 18 or something. Yeah, because like obviously it's, it's a different world, bro. Like, mm. is that, uh, I didn't think I'd be applying for jobs at 23. Yeah. Knowing that I played last season mm. in League One comfy. Yeah, that's nah, mad. I hear that. Look at it like that, it's crazy. I yeah. never think I'd be in Waitrose deducting yeah, cheese yeah. <laughs> in the cold fridges, bro. <laughs> 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 you get it? I hear you yeah. still. I hear you. That's you a mad it. It was, it was a big, jump. It was yeah. a big thing I was thinking. Right, and one time I see a, a Charlton fan. So obviously I went to one in Greenwich. Yeah. Oh, so it was, kind of, it was next door. So I'm obviously in the cheese that I'll do my deductions and that. Mm, reducing, wow. the, reducing the cheese prices. And he's like, are you not yet a member? Yeah, I, I was even gonna ask this. I was thinking, oh, I was thinking. I was like, yeah. He's like, what happened? 
he just said, he just said, what happened? He probably thinking you're just shit he's, now he's or just something. Thinking, yeah. What the fuck happened? I'm yeah. thinking, bro, like injuries. If, if like I got injured. Knew, yeah. If only you knew. He's thinking, oh my god. He's wow. Like, All right, whatever, cool. And then after he left, I was just thinking. Fuck, that's crazy, yeah. You know that's what I mean? Crazy, it's yeah. a lot to deal with mentally, man. Definitely. Bro, I, yeah, me, like, like, I'd say that I have a strong mind, but I reckon me, personally, that would have, like... Because that doesn't um, help. Even, yeah. like, you could have been going you know through I mean? your day smooth. Exactly. Mm. And yeah. then, seeing that. And, and anytime time you see that. a chart on bed, you're probably like, you thinking, like, I beg you, you don't say nothing. Yeah, 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 I beg you don't say nothing. And How, like, it's something was you keeping up with Char- Was you keeping up with Charlton? Yeah, because I still had still had friends then playing in it. Like, obviously, people from below me, mm. and now still coming through, still yeah. getting talking, contacting through socials and stuff. So, I was happy yeah. to see them. Yeah, 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 me, of course. So. It and, seems, and they're all doing well now. So, it seems as if like, obviously, a lot of people are proud. Like, people have a lot of pride. So, for you to actually just go from playing professional football mm. to saying, "Look, I'm going to get a job in Waitrose." Would you say for you, I don't know, like what kind of person you are in general? Would you say, because I feel like a lot of ballers would be like, man, ain't going to work in Waitrose. Do you know what, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you, at the time, you think, oh, Waitrose, nah, 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 not, yeah. not me, man. But we, when, you know, when times are hard and you're back against the wall, mm, there's nothing you can actually do. do. You've got, you got no choice. You've got no choice. Yeah. You've got no choice but to bite the bullet and just go work, bro. That's what being a man's about, yeah. though. Yeah, so I was thinking from here, I'm gonna, I'll, be, I'll be working now, so I've got to get my mindset to actually start working was was people around you supportive yeah my family Your my friends were all there that. um but to my friends I, I didn't show that so i was upset so mm. that's what i wanted to ask you did know anyone I mean? know you know you said like to the outside my, my parents like my cool. parents knew my parents knew but they were always supportive my, obviously josh my brother was my sister all supportive couldn't ask any much of them large up josh um <laughs> big <laughs> josh, by the way, yeah. i met josh yeah. at working one time he's a cool guy, cool guy man. Man. yeah he mad funny so. still <laughs> And all my all my boys and that all they're all supportive who came to my games and stuff like that. But I didn't really show them how I was how hot I actually was inside. Mm. I keep a smile, think all right, cool. They'll think, oh, he's, he's all right. He's already come over, overcame him through everything. But I told them, I did tell them the third podcast that I did. That's when they all kind of knew. I was like, oh, right, really? Is that how you actually felt? Okay. Yeah. I didn't let nobody know until then. Um, but I yeah. think it's good that you. Yeah. Say this though, because people, yeah. a lot of people just don't get it. it like, it's true, and you know if I mean? if you do have, obviously friends that's that play ball non league or that's come from a pro club, going to non league, bro. Just mm. if they're going for bad injury, just Check say yo, them, yeah. yeah, like how are you? Would you, you say know? going looking back in time, like do you feel like you should have spoke about it more, or do potentially? You think, yeah, I could have been a bit more vocal. Okay. Um, yeah. I think yeah, I should have I should have been a bit more vocal. Yeah. I probably got could have got a lot more help then. Whereas like you, you, even me as a person, like I feel like I keep in a lot of feelings, a lot of things mm. that I just don't want to talk about. I don't feel like people I, can and help I feel me, that's yeah. as men, that's just yeah, how, that's we, how we are. How we you operate, I mean. But I think you got to get out of that now. Exactly. Just start speaking. Up exactly. Start saying, speaking about how you feel. A lot of things can be done, man. Mm. People can help you. I'm saying. Yeah. No. I, agree I think sometimes that. you you'll think like personally, I'll think if I tell you what you really what meant you? to. Well, yeah, exactly, what, that's exactly what how can I feel you do? Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. It, what it is sometimes is just you getting it off your chest that's you true. might not even have to yeah. say anything but mm. I've just got it off my chest you go. get what I'm saying that's, that's, that's what you needed really. then you feel like nothing's on your on your shoulders you get what I'm saying specifically the football thing I feel like people look on footballers or professional footballers like oh you're a footballer man you should be happy you're lucky like mm. your yeah. life's sweet like, even, even like, I'm guilty of that I can't lie like even when I'm seeing professional football players like go through a mad thing. I'm just like, I'm like, you're on how much bags a week? Like, you think everyone's on a mad man? contract, bro. Yeah, yeah. mad yeah. contract. Yeah. You're chilling. Even if you're yeah. not playing, calm. Like. That's that's what they people see. Oh, they run on the pitch ninety minutes and mm. they get big money. But oh, come on, there's the side you don't see. It's mm. tough. Yeah. Some, some of these guys even see their families it's too tough because they was traveling, yeah, playing yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, you know what yeah. I mean? So they dedicate a lot of time. Sometimes Christmas Day they're training. Mm. Christmas Day they play day. a lot of games. The money on the body. They get injured. When you when you're injured, it's a dark dark place. Mm. It's crazy. criticism. It's because a lot of the things you see now are ballers is they're in libs, they're in central, splashing, living, they're in moms. <laughs> you get it? They're in moms. Yeah, that's, that's what people see, innit? That's what, that's what they see. So and that's, was, what they, that's what they want to see. Was you ever... That's what I was trying to get into That's what earlier. gets shown, though. Do you yeah, yeah that's what we're shown. But was you ever, like... What, the flashy player? No, no, I'm not saying was you flashy. I'm like, was you ever tempted to kind of go into that whole party lifestyle? No. Flashy, mm. or that head was kind of. No, don't, don't get me I wrong. think a lot don't, of the time. Don't get me wrong. Though, we went out. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, we went out and stuff. But I was on them sort of big peas to be thinking. Oh, let me go out in the club and just mm. spend some racks on the table. And whatnot. Yeah, because even a lot of a lot of guys will go through their as soon as they get like a decent contract or 
their first contract, they just splash it all. Yeah, because obviously these these top clubs they pay their their young players a lot of peas, man. A lot like, of peas, like, yeah. A few grand a week. Mm. As of when I was coming through, I was at Charlton and we were in League One, so the budget they gave to me wasn't as as big as as lucrative as that. So mm. I had to make sure I had to be smart with my money a little bit. Yeah, I remember. Um, it's about who's kind of like looking over you as well. And yeah. I remember um, I saw something like a clip of Antonio saying that like. I don't know if it was his first big contract or just whatever, but he was like basically spending more money than he was earning. Yeah, yeah. he was like, it's peak. <laughs> like, I think someone had to talk to him and say, "Yo, bro, you got to like, like manage imagine. your money." Like, I can only imagine, bro. Imagine that you're getting racks every month. Yeah, and that's another. Especially thing. him, he that's came from non-league, so from, yeah. from nothing yeah. as well. Exactly. From nothing so to he probably got excited. Yeah, like, Yo, definitely. this is crazy. Wow. <laughs> you're gonna His eyes get, lit up. <laughs> you're you're gonna hey. get excited. So it makes sense why you see these bowlers sometimes going out and splashing mm. the card. They come, they've come from nothing. But I don't but, condone it. Yeah. Not, obviously, mm. we, we, everyone can go every now and again, but not all the time. But yeah. that's why. Any again, this is an example of anyone watching that. Do you get it? Football can just be cut like that. Oh, Do you get so it? short, bro. Just save your. So short. Not and then, and then you then you'll think to yourself, ah, oh, ah. Oh. I could have saved those peas to go and that to the clubs. The people yeah. around you as well. If you've got friends leeching yeah. off you, they ain't going to tell you let's stay at home yeah, today. Bro. And I feel like um, the pressure that a lot of boys growing up now, obviously you're a bit older than us. Mm-hmm. I'd say more like our age group and young guys as well, specifically like you have like social media, and girls, social media and that it's like who looks the drippiest, who has the money and that. And I just feel like a lot of men are pressured you get it to like yeah. look like they're living the lifestyle at such a young age and stuff. People in general, though, isn't it? Yeah, mm. it's life in general. Everything. I don't even think that sticks down to just boilers. Yeah, I that's just that's general. just life. Yeah, everyone. That's just life, bro. Mm. It could be music, it could be anything, everyday life, bro. Mm. It's the same. You know, sometimes they want that for sudden. Oh, look, exactly. I'm living that life. And people, it's for socials, isn't people it? looking at you coming from Charlton most of your life, and that they probably had that perception of you. You know, what? I think it's a bit football as well, though, because I hear like it might just be banter, but I hear stories of like your wash bag or what you're bringing to the changing mm. room oh, and man yeah, are like yeah. but I'm thinking bro like, does it matter like, as little as that, that but still. if you're not strong mentally you might be thinking right I've got to keep up with the big the boys in the changing yeah. room yeah. Bare, bare football players have and you're you, like, like, yeah. like your scholar or your <laughs> first year pro and you're thinking that like, <laughs> you, <get it>, you, <laughs> you ain't even started your football career really yeah. bro it's true so we got the wash bags man I like them so you said so you said um obviously you got back into a non-league after that. Yeah. Where did you go after that? I went to um, Ebsfleet. Ebsfleet. Yeah. Mm. So, so I went there on loan time ago when I was at Charlton. So I obviously went back there, so it was calm in it. So. Yeah. How did that come about? Because I made a phone call. Literally, just I made, made a phone, phone call. Yeah, I knew one of the guys I was playing there. I said, give me your, your manager's number. Rang him. Said, but what are they? Their conference, right? They were in the conference staff, yeah. Okay. And my, and my um, head of academy at the time was their assistant manager in it. So he's like, oh yeah, just come down. Yeah, you cool. We can come down. You can train with us, whatever. Mm. Went down there, train. It's like, do you want to sign? Are they are Signed they part time? Yeah, at the time was part time. Yeah, so okay. I was working at the same time. Okay. So I was playing That's for and working at Nike in the outlet at Wembley. Okay. Mm. So I was there for a bit, for a little bit. I, I think, think, by they the probably way, just on that out. I think that out is so crap. <laughs> <laughs> it's so you know what, you've got to be dead. lucky. It depends what time you come because sometimes you get some gems in there. You know, which oh, one's really? at Wembley? Yeah, the no, Wembley gems in there. He's right. I did buy some nice crepes, some Nike reacts. They're nice still. When I first saw them, I said, yo, like, yeah. these are nice. People though. get some dams from this, yeah, though. Yeah, I've never yeah. been lucky. You know, it's because it's in boxes. It's not. Some, yeah, some of them are out, but Sometimes they're, they're on the understanding thing sometimes. Yeah. It's more sportwear there, isn't it? It's more sportswear. We get some nice, some nice. But even the outlet in general, like, other shops. What did I go into once? I think I went into H&M, and it was, like, There's a H&M smaller there? than this oh, room. Yeah. Like, the yeah, men's yeah, section was just a rack. I, I said, raw. And the rest is all women, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. like, I'm like, raw. <laughs> like, but the food places there are, right? Yeah. But that's why I go to food places all, all night. Yeah. Mm. That's just those two places. Yeah, no, that all yeah. players get some earrings. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about the outlet. Yeah, but so no, was um, still. was Epsley, So obviously the viral tweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One. That was Epsley um, as well. For those who don't know, let's explain it. Yeah, it's I don't like, know about that. Because obviously there was a picture of you. Yeah, so we, so we was playing back. a game on TV, um, okay. playing a match against Leighton Orient. It was on BT Sport, and then um, I think the camera was zoomed in on me on my back of my shirt. Obviously, Mambo, in number eighteen, and then someone tweeted. Oh, FC Mr. Trick by giving him number 18, when at number 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 five. Mm, okay. And then from then, 
boom, just because wait. So the Mambo number five is a famous it, it, song. It's a tune, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it, that's what, where's it? A little bit. Or yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. That, yeah. Wow, so wait, that's, is that what? That's what the song's called, isn't it? Or yeah. is that his? Yeah, that's what the song's mm, called. Mambo Why number five. Call, what does that mean, Mambo? Why did he call it? I that? think I think Mambo was, is a dance. I think. Okay. I think he's singing about the, the Mambo dance, isn't it? But Mambo is my son, isn't it? So yeah. <laughs> then that so, just went viral. Boom. So why did that just come about? For because the song's old, why did that just come about for Ebb's feet? Like, did you ever have that in your mind before? Did you know the song before? People, like, people said that to me, Ooh, like, you should like, be number yeah, five, like and your Chilton, center back as well. So, that as well. <laughs> that AFC is like, oh, one can number five shirt, yeah. <laughs> but when I, wherever, wherever I'm goes, number five really allocated to somebody, so mm. I can't take it, okay. And then, did Ebb's even did? Ebb's feet, uh, our captain number five, so I, I didn't take it either, so he still didn't give it to <laughs> you yeah, after yeah, that. So he, didn't, yeah. <laughs> he didn't get it at all, yeah. <laughs> oh. They should have done that for the coaches, but we made one. And then we um, raised some money for um, prostate cancer. Oh, okay. oh that's sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Auction the shirt. Okay, yeah, nice, that's nice, it. Yeah. That's a nice little. Yeah, that's a good little. When did that song come out? Tap, but years ago, wasn't that what? Yeah. Primary school. That Obviously, we all out? know the song. I had. Yeah, so I, I even said try to play it quickly because I heard nah, it. Nah, I'm not playing the <laughs> no song, man. Sing it, sing it. <laughs> bro, he even got in contact with me. The guy who sang the tune. Swear down. Yeah, bro. Wait, hang what on. What did he say? Wait, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? He was in primary. That's like 1960. He said, "Yeah." He said to me, "Oh, like I want to come down and do a half time show." Swear. Absolutely, yeah. Or did it ever happen or? Nah, uh, oh, man. <laughs> That's oh, a they big shout still. They missed a oh, trick there still. I lie, man. It was on the radio. Yeah. That was yeah, yeah, yeah. well, crazy. It was nice. 1999. That's when the song see, came out. You know the song, man. I thought it was at the 60s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the song, man. I know the song still. But there's also it. something else, Mambo Number 5. An instrumental. No, I'm not playing it. No, no way. I'm not playing it. You know the song, man. You play it after. <laughs> I want to play it. Yeah, I'll play it after. I'll play it after. I'll play it after. I'll play that five seconds. You got in contact with me. Oh, okay, How okay, did you get in contact okay. with me? I don't know. Somehow, <laughs> somehow, got my email. Oh, right. Crazy, you know? Because the song come out. I thought it was a prank. Yeah, because yeah. it come out a long time ago. You probably saw yeah, a bit of a buzz. Trying to get, yeah, yeah. Trying to get you he said, back what? Let me get back. <laughs> Do you have, like, Twitter and stuff, like, or that? Was, did you see the tweet, or, like, did people say to you, yo, you're blowing up on nah, Twitter? No, people like? were sending me the tweets, like, retweeting me, and I was thinking, oh, what's, what's this? And then it's like, raw. Getting bare retweets and bare likes, and that's thinking, right. Separately, though, how did you how did you play <laughs> in that game? <laughs> 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 Separately. <laughs> All right, to be fair, we won. We won the game 2-0. Okay. Okay. BT Sport as well. That's smooth. Yeah, BT Sport, nice one. Huh? Surely not. Yeah, that's Surely I'm not. Ask. That's been my chart for a minute. To be fair, <laughs> yeah, everyone's do do do. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Someone, someone <laughs> end up saying, "Oh, hey, mambo." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, know, someone end up singing that as well. So I need to hear this song. It's yeah, been, a, been about. Him. It's been about still for a minute. Nah, that that song's bait, man. How that song was number, number one of the time. I'm yeah, that song's bait. I don't know if I. That went number one for at least two, three weeks. A lot. I know it. In my head, I know it. Don't know it, man. Everyone watching is gonna YouTube it right now. They're gonna be like, "What?" But they're gonna start skanking, man. It's a tune still. It's a tune. So how long? How long was you at Ebb Street for then? I was there for half a season. It was it's crazy car. I thought all right towards the end of it, and then um, I got a, tr- a trial to Dagenham Redbridge, and they were League Two at the time. Oh, so you kind of got yeah, another yeah. opportunity. Yeah, back but I didn't actually. I didn't tell Ebb Street in it. I just went. <laughs> Wait, was this at the end of the season? <laughs> yeah, basically, basically like pre-season next season. So I didn't even tell. I went to Dagenham. So I, I don't know why I did that, but I should have told them. But anyway. Mm. We ended up, we ended up playing up playing against Epsley. Wait, can I just? Oh ask my! Oh, days. <laughs> oh no. my! Days. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on. Can I just ask what was your reason for not telling them? You knew they were gonna try hold you back. Yeah, you, and I don't know. What, I, I thought you might have said, "Nah, I'd just come back to pressure, pre-season," it, like, or, or you can't go there this day because we were training. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking that. Nah, Surely, just... like you can say, like, look, this is an opportunity for me, like I a higher have, level. I should like. have, but I did that at the time. I thought, nah, yeah, you nah, just thought, nah, let me just go, man. Yeah. How long was you training with them before that match come? Um. A few weeks, but three, mm. three, three weeks then. So what was your t- excuse for not being yeah, at Ebbs Um Obviously, um, he let me go in it at the end. So obviously, okay. he's like, oh, okay, you can do whatever you want to do. Oh. But he tried to say, okay, you can come back. Mm. And I was like, yeah, I'll come. But I didn't obviously end up going. Mm. End up going to Dagenham Redbridge. Then we played against them. And then they saw me. And obviously, they didn't offer me a deal. 
I tried to go back to his fleet. Uh, and then he was like, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> say like, no. Nah, you're yeah, not going to come back this time. Did, he, 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 yeah, no, he didn't even put that like, footballing ability. He was yeah, just like, yeah, no, like, no, you violated. Piss. You violated. Yeah. How, how did you play in that? Decent as well. Is it? Good game. Yeah, yeah. Play 45 minutes. Good game. That must have been awkward. It was cool. I was joking, laughing. That's funny though. That happened to man. That happened to one of my brothers at Sunday League as well. He left my club. No one knew where he went. We found him playing against us one day. Everyone was confused but yeah it was, it was a mad Happ- yeah it, quite like mm. happened to man as well <laughs> man, t- man man went on trial at some club um then um i was like the guy like man in it he was like yeah cool 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 then another club because because i was looking for a club yeah mm. i shouted bear clubs do you get it mm. so then another club shouted me after i trained and was like oh like come down and that then in my head i'm thinking this club's better than this club yeah. So I was like, cool, I'm gonna go brush these man in it, like <laughs> whatever. Like I was just like, I just didn't come in it. Went and trialed, didn't get into that club. Try go back. I try to go back. The guy just trying <laughs> to say, nah, <laughs> sorry, mate. We, 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 <laughs> like, we don't really yeah. need you. Bridge has but been that done. season, they went far. They got to a final in a cup competition, played in Wembley, BT Sport, oh, everything, bro. That season that I brushed them in it. Mm. Um, and they went and won their, it was one of those like little trophies. I don't know what it was, but they got to play at Wembley Bowl, so, front yeah. of a big crowd, um, BT Sport, everything. You know, in my head, I was yeah. burning, bro. Like was I yeah. was burning, bro. <laughs> so you should so, I regret that. Yeah, <laughs> man, it's just. <laughs> it's <laughs> what it is, man. You live and you learn. It is what it is, man. You live and you learn, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was burning. So what happened after that then? How did that? Uh, after did Dagenham, in, then I went to sign for Chelmsford. Okay. Yeah. I for Chelmsford in the same league. That's South. Conference South, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was there for I think a season. And then I got injured again. I done my my left knee this time. So your other yeah. one? Yeah, my other one went this time. Was it operation. the same injury? Again, same injuries. Um, behind my knee, all the bones, part yeah. of my little medial. Before, sorry, before this has happened to your left knee, your right knee, how's it feeling? Like? Not, not as good. Not as good, okay. Really? But, so but you, can actually, you can actually feel it when playing, yeah. like you're actually like... But I was having massages, hot baths, all that mm. shit, ice baths, what I played. You're just trying to condition it Yeah, well, you're just trying yeah. to stay on top of it. If you I didn't did, do that... Yeah. Oh, would it would have been peak. Yeah. yeah. It would have been peak, so I had to stay on top of it, which I did. Really? But then, like, well, now, now I've got arthritis. Ah, oh, really? I've got arthritis in both my knees. So I'm thinking, was it arthritis? It could have been, man. It could early, have been. Early stages of it. Could have been early stages. Yeah. What actually, like, actually defined is arthritis? I kind of always hear it. I always hear it. Why are you saying that? Like, I'm always asking questions, innit? I want to know, innit? And people uh, might... Do you get it as well? Like, seems to have can you actually it. Defi- I always hear it, like... You've got the air bubbles between your yeah. joints. Okay. Gone, basically, your joints are rubbing together. Um, yeah, the air bubbles just there. Synovial fluid so that's in between pain. your joints. You get pain between your joints and stuff. Yeah, it's actually painful. Like painful. Sure. Apparently, it's harsh, bro. Doctor Kwame, you know, easy. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Kwame. <Yeah. laughs> if you get like, if you get chronic knee pains, I, my whole life. I always heard when you're younger. You know, like <laughs> yeah. they, uh, my mum always says, "Oh, you shouldn't click your fingers. You'll get yeah, arthritis yeah. when you're older." Is that true? Or I don't know. Sure. I've got a habit of clicking my fingers. By the way, yeah, I don't know if that's true. Still, I don't know if that's true. But yeah, so your other knee just went. How did that happen? Like. Like was it while you're running again, That's turning so unlucky, man. in a warm up? Yeah, in, in game, like, warm up, warming up, up for the game. game. Mm, so I just don't feel right again. It doesn't feel good. No pop on the face. It's just not feel right. Do you know, right. Smad? You done both your knees, and none of them were in a like actual match. Yeah, mm. exactly. I've done my right twice and my left once. Is it painful? Like proper painful? Now it is. Even when I play like five aside, and that, it's just it just hurts. And I try change positions and really run off. I can't do nothing. Oh, it kills. So then, when that one happened for Chelmsford. Mm. W- was you signed to Chelmsford? Yeah, but that's that's different though, isn't it? So you're signed to the end of the season with non-league in it. Once yeah. It happens, you're, you're yeah, 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 yeah. It's not really so, like a con- long yeah, contract. So thing. I was kind of, I was out as as long this time. I was going physiotherapy, doing a bit of better rehab. So I was mm. out for like maybe like four months, and then I went to another team. Luckily, the season after. Was Chelmsford um, still paying you? Um, towards the end of my contract, yeah. And after they they stopped. Okay. So this time round, you kind of get yeah. a bit of pay. Normally, you don't get paid through the summer. You only get paid when you start season starts to season ends. Okay, and then you recovered from that, and then yeah, then went on to, I went on to another team, Hayes and Yedin. Mm. I signed there, yeah. done my right knee again. Shh. Without, without even playing the game, just didn't feel right. I've done it again, had another operation, um, out for another few months. Wait, wow. How long is the time span between all these injuries? I it's, think said so the first one was eight months. Because yeah, the one, yeah. was it duration of time, yeah, or in between? How long? Like the, yeah, the first year you oh. 
Like, yeah, so I've done that one, then probably a year later, done my left. Yeah. And then another year later, done my right again. Wow, within three years. Three years. Yeah. That's right, mad unlucky right. still. It's unlucky still. That's crazy, bro. Nothing crazy like ACL or M- MDL, whatever you call it, but... But still, it's setting MCL, you back, sorry. do you know what I mean? Mm. It's set you so back. So then I got injured again, then I operation, I was out for another bit. Then I signed for... for So I took a season out again. A season out. Then I signed for Margate. I signed for Margate, Conference South again. Um, was down there for about. So you're a Conference South legend. Yeah, I've been about there still. I've been about <laughs> Conference South. I've been about. So I was there for a few months. Even then, I didn't feel right at all. I wasn't playing my best at, at all. Mm. So I left. The drive was mad far. I didn't really enjoy it. Mm. I joined Bishop Stortford. Um, I was there for a couple of months. Then I got a call from Epsi again. Okay, and this time, nice. obviously, everything's changed. Um, the, everything's changed then now. So I, and I played with the gaffer that was in, in charge there now. Okay. So he's like, oh, come down, you fancy it. You won't be first choice, whatnot, but just come mm. down. I was like, cool, they're full time at the time. Yeah. Uh, so it was nice. I was like, you know what, back in there again. Okay, I quit yeah, my job. Moved to full time, yeah, I quit yeah. my job. Yeah. This time I was working nah. in um, the White Company in Sloan Square. Yeah. Quit that. Yeah. Back to full time ball. Decent. I was just there for about, what, two, three years? We've got, we got promotion. Oh, so mm. injury free? Um, yeah, injury free. Nice, nice. How old are you That's at this point? Um, I believe I was 27. 27, okay. okay. Well, 26, 26, 27. Okay, 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 okay. Nice. Like this time, so yeah. Injury free. I wouldn't say injury free. I was still obviously Feeling fucked it. in that. Yeah, but yeah. I didn't Nothing get really set you back. Nothing really set you back yeah. until I got injured again. And then that's really? when the doctor told me. Is you're done. You're done. You're yeah, done. that's why I was even going to ask you when is the doctor going to tell you that yeah. now this is. So I went into now. a 50 50 t- um, tackle. Um, I thought, oh, this felt kind of kind of nasty. Mm. I come off in that. No swelling. But just it was kind of hurting me, but no swelling. Mm. Calm. He's like, oh, see how you feel in the next few days. Try to train, then cool, you can obviously continue. I tried to train, didn't feel right, bro. Mm. Like, it felt weird. It's the worst it's ever felt. Yeah, it just, it just felt weird. Like, it didn't yeah. feel right. I told him, I goes, this doesn't feel good. Mm. He's like, cool, I'll get you a scan. So I got a scan, MRI scan. But this time, I had an x-ray mm. at the same time for the first time ever. This stuff, yeah. 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 And, and then, then what you this one's different. Yeah, yeah, I, was, I, was thinking, like, I was thinking, right, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Got called in now. He's like, ah, oh, if I told you I brought in a young doctor, like a junior doctor, and asked him how old do you reckon this person was? How old do you reckon they'll say? I was oh, like, oh, shit. 35. He's like about 55 to 60 year old man. Shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, was like, I, was, I said, my knees. He's like, yeah. Like your, your knees are <laughs> in, a, in a bad shape. Couldn't believe it. I was that, thinking, no. Yeah. Like a dream. So I think, I'm thinking, no, this guy's maybe he's a bit OTT. Yeah, like. Maybe he's yeah, a bit yeah, like, like, Pulling pull my leg yeah. right now, man. Yeah. No way, yeah. Well, you didn't get he, no. Um, so, so, so he told. So he told me first. He's like, "Oh, boom, you have a stop now. Preserve your legs, your knees. So after you're 35, you can walk and do shit with your children and whatnot, and just be a normal person. Mm. Or you can keep playing now, and then after the ball, you can't walk you properly. Can't walk pro- chronic <laughs> knee pain. You got a walking cane. Potentially a Zimmer frame. Yeah. Whoa. He's telling you this at the age of 26. Yeah. He's, he's telling me this. He goes, "You got to think about your life right now." So think about it properly. Go, go away. Talk to your team, parents, whatever. But consider it. I was just thinking, bro. So I was like, I left now. I called my boys, um, um, Bradley and Jack. And I was like, bro, the man said I got to quit, you know. Like, he said this boom is done. And so I, I was rocked. And then so I, I, I told the club. He was like, oh, listen, like, you've got this life after football, in it? So mm. look after your knees, whatever, and just go find a new life, basically. And I was like, all right. It makes sense for my parents. It was like, boom, if he's not meant to be, he's not meant to be. Mm, okay, boom, so then I, st- I announced that I retired from ball, up on the socials and that. Mm. Just got mad love, which was, which was nice, which I needed. Got the love and then, yeah. yeah the support must have been, you get me? yeah, Man. definitely needed. You, like, it's a, it would be a dumb question, me saying, how did you feel in it? Because even you saying that, it's just burning me. And it's mm. not even me, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm gutted for you still. It, it was, it was like, you know what, it's Because it's even like, just, money aside and whatever hanging up you just want to play yeah, like, yeah. That's you just want to play even at like, any level exactly yeah. that's what I was going to say for play, football just players just want to be around it yeah. you know what I mean for yeah. the band, no, just, for, just for everything innit? playing the game on the this Saturday. is what you know in your whole Obviously. life yeah, bro. hanging up the boots it must be one of the hardest things yeah so for this players, was like so. January and then I took a bit a few months out I saw one of my physios um, a PT shot at me my guy called Louis he's like oh I can train you he trains like prem balling and stuff he's like oh come come down I can see what I can do for you I felt decent with him. My knees didn't feel as much. I felt sharp a little bit. I thought, right. having your mind, maybe I, I could. Yeah, I did, I did. And then I got a phone that. call. 
Yeah. Then I got a phone from Wallstone. Again, really? come myself. Yeah, come myself. He's, oh, like, come myself, legend. Bro. <laughs> he's, like, <laughs> he's like, I know about your injuries. Like, do you fancy coming down and see if you, if you still have it, sort of thing? Yeah. I was like, yeah, fuck it. Why not? Because during this time, I was trying to get a job. I'm going to get a job for shit. Job just for, yeah. Demotivated. Yeah. I was just thinking, nah, fuck it. This, and there's yeah. the source of income at the same yeah. time as well, isn't it? What's like, mad is these are good phone calls still because mm. Comfort South is a good level still. Yeah, so you're like, good phone calls. So I was like, yeah, I'll come down. Went down there. Didn't play as much lights, but it was coming in around it. Mm. And then I went on loan to Hampton, Richmond, again on the Comfort South. Is this all um, recently now? No, so this is like maybe a couple of years now. Okay. Mm. So I'm, almost, I'm 29 now. So yeah, a couple of years now. And then I played for them. And then this, the last game, played FA Cup game against Oldham. That was on TV, it was on BT Sport. Mm. We lost the game. But from that day, it's like, nah, I'm gonna hang on my boots. I didn't feel the same okay. at all. Well, at least you got a little run now. I, I, yeah. yeah. I, got, I, got, I got a little run. I think, you know what? Fair play. Had my yeah. little time, had my little yeah, break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, was you like surprised that. that you was back into football like that? I, was, I thought you was about to say every, you didn't kick Everyone ball, was surprised. I was like, man, I didn't want to give up. Mm. I'm gonna try again. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I want to try again. A little cheeky appearance. How many minutes did you get in that game, though? I played the whole game. Okay, okay, okay. I played the whole game, but I just didn't feel right, man. And then my dad, my dad was at the game, and I could just tell like his disappointment in it because I'm not who he used to see, see watching. Yeah. This, is he, this is his first time coming to see me in a long time. Okay, okay. I was thinking, oh, I could just see. He, he, he didn't tell me anything. I can just see in it, yeah. and, and I knew. Was and I it told when you were younger and he used to watch the game, you see that yeah. look on his face. And, and then, then I told my boy, Ken, never goes, Ken, nah, this is me done here, bro. Yeah, this is. I can't. I can't. I couldn't turn properly. I'm losing headers. Yeah. That's one of my main forties. My header in. I could head the it's ball. It's mad because you're saying that, and you're what aged twenty eight or twenty seven yeah, or some, something, something yeah. like that. Mm. Like I hear like people when like footballers when they hang out right. their boots talking about when they're like thirty six yeah. or something saying, "Yeah, it was my time." Mm. So it just wasn't the same, bro. It's mad saying that, I that's I was, still mad. I wasn't young. explosive. Mm. Yeah. I was getting beat to ease. I couldn't turn. And football nowadays is getting more. Yeah, it's getting more. Even the like, the even coming up is a good level, man. It's a good standard. Some good players. In yeah, that that's league. what I was gonna say because you were saying talking about back in the day, non league was just. Rough, yeah, like, now, but now, now it's, it's good players, man. It's a good it's getting, in there. even the conference, I was saying, it's kind of like a it's like the conference Prem and League Two is similar. They, they I'd are say, similar. like, they are similar. yeah, yeah. So, obviously, we were they speaking, um, we were speaking before we was having our little Euros debate and stuff like that. Mm. You seem like someone that's actually into football. Like, obviously, you get players that play, but they're not, really, like they're not yeah, yeah. they don't watch it or <laughs> yeah. really talk about it. And yeah, like, yeah. a few people like that, but you seem kind of into it, so. I was gonna ask, like, after you hung up your boots, is, did you not want to like stay within the game? I don't know, do coaching or I something. About, I've like done that. a bit of coaching, um, but it wasn't in terms of just football. So I was working in the school, mm. just doing obviously their curriculum. Obviously, they go about everything, tennis, basketball, and that stuff. I didn't really enjoy it. I didn't like. I didn't want. Like, I won't lie to you. The okay. kids got my nerves. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Mm. I was teaching the young, the young kids. So that kind of left a little bit of taste in my mouth about whole coaching, but. Mm. I do, I do, do want to coach maybe like an academy one day or like another Sunday league team or something just to okay. try to get probably into Probably got that like way. the contacts there as well. Yeah, yeah potentially kind of just whether in. I got time to do my my license, get like a UFA or UFB mm. or. Yeah, it's badges. a long process. It's though. a long process, a lot of money as well. So oh. I wanted to even ask, just going a bit back, how come you only got your first scan? On the first time that you done your knee, I oh, thought um, like no, I got, I got a scan all three times. Oh, okay, I yeah. mean, you're not a scan X Oh, that's what that's what I was confused about. I, I thought know. that comes with like a no, operation. No, I never actually got it until that time, so I was kind of confused myself. I was thinking, mm. why Do you is think that? you could? Maybe because it's a different hot, um, hospital. Who knows? Like, like, you see when you like you never got injured. I never got injured at Charlton. That's, that's why I know because for me, like your injury, like, it's a mad injury. Because like, if you look at your career, like from your first injury to when you retired, mm. that's like in a three-year span, isn't it? Yeah. And you don't really hear about man injury going mad like that unless it's an ACL and that. So I was gonna mm. ask that. Was it like a di- was it a long term? Was it a conditional? Like, would it's, just pop up? Uh, it sounds like a long term injury. Like, it it, like, it, 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 so it felt like, like, like a wear and tear term. sort of thing. Yeah, it's like, like they were wearing and tearing slowly. Over time, like disintegrating slowly. Over time, as things are degrading, yeah, basically, then maybe just. It's wearing out, yeah. yeah. If, if you got an x ray after the first one, that maybe you could have prevented something. Mm. You could have. If I said, like, if, I, if Chris Park gave me that extra year, I could be, st- if I got injured, I've been in that physiotherapy room, treatment that's room, when, calm. Yeah, uh, when you look at you probably I'd deep been, them things there. I've been like. sorted. That's, that's what I think about constantly. Mm. I always think, what if? What, what if, if I got yeah, that extra year? You know year? what? I don't yeah. think it that, that's a fucker still. Like, when, when you if? think, what if? Like, when you're kind of 
down bad and you start mm. thinking what if it's I bad man you should fit like that still it's just it is what it is kind I of mean, thing and, and i love i love seeing my fellow friends do well my fellow teammates doing well yeah like, yeah uh, there's nothing more that makes me happy to see yeah. them do well playing the highest level even international they get that happy from facts yeah but um i always think kind of have yeah that, what if could i be with them been, yeah could i be playing potentially in the premier league or mm, champ facts, who knows yeah. who knows but you see this happen? you see the arthur writers thing that was you was diagnosed with that right mm. and was that because of your injuries or did you always have that this is what i still don't know because um, you never know like if it was like an ongoing thing and it was, it, these injuries matter was just always going to happen maybe we, you never we tried, know we tried to look into it um nothing was seen on the records that of me having arthritis then um i even had like a okay. sports player to look into it mm. for no negligence what they call it um but nothing they're gonna get nothing back wow that's just mad unlucky man bro, yeah trust is unlucky but do you know what it is unlucky but at the same time i think to myself bro like you've done you've graduated from a, from an mm. academy bro i can't lie you yeah, the experience must yeah. have been yeah. you get bro. it like, like, you've man, experienced you've met some great experience. people yeah, yeah. Like, i say that yeah and obviously coming through at like, charlton as well like the poor players that they did come through their academy like mm. say that boom i'm actually part of that yeah, is is something I that I always cherish, bro. You played alongside some boilers, man. That's bro, something. You should... And you got, uh, well, yeah. and you got like a mad story. Mad, ex- mad well. experiences, bro. So if I could go back and do it again, oh, I would, man. Mm. I love every minute Definitely, of it. Bro, and in a way, actually, not, what do you want to say? I was gonna say, what would be like your best advice from someone that's you've been to the academy, you've come out, and obviously you're not kicked from ball anymore. Like, what would your advice be to young ballers that would be watching now? Be like. No, there's an afterlife after football. Right? Yeah, just, just, just don't think football is just football for football. There's a life of football. You can do anything else, bro. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, there's things you can do. Go, you can go uni. You can. There's people that give advice. PFA can give people help. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of avenues you can go down. So just don't think, oh, because I'm playing football, my life's over. They no, say no, football yeah. is a very short career. You can, you can earn good mm. money elsewhere. And, I, and I, yeah, because might develop a new hobby, something a new, a new love. Did they give you any help? Jun. Um, PFA gave me some help, um, but I kind of done it all myself, really. Mm-hmm. I didn't really was the one out there. I kind of asked for help and stuff. I kind of did it all myself, but it was calm. Listen, I had a good friend, good family around me, so. There was that There was that story of um, the Man City player, isn't it, that got released from Man City he and committed suicide. Yeah, yeah. So. one thing I do say as well, bro, because things like that is really, really sad because obviously the, the pressure on the game and stuff like that, but have a plan B, man. Like, yeah, if, if, Even if you're man. still playing ball in academies now, like you never know, even if you're like a wonder kid. Still have an idea of what you can actually do. Try to see if you can do something online, and because football world ends like that, you know. Mm. Would Would you say that? Game. Would you say that? Okay, your situation. It's rare. It is rare. But would you say like these kind of career-ending injuries happen a lot happen, in football? Yeah, 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 I'm sure they happen a lot. If it's not the knees, could be the ankle, could be hamstring, mm. could be anything. You know what I mean? There's Hamstrings, a lot of players. Yeah, there's you. a lot of players that drop out. I um, put. Can I just say? Yeah, I say this. I pulled my hamstring. Yeah. <laughs> I pulled my hamstring on a on a Tuesday and on a Thursday <laughs> we had a ball sesh yeah and I said I'm not obviously I'm on crutches so I'm not playing in it I'll ref this guy's getting on to me getting on to me getting on to me yeah, saying you're why you're just faking it faking it bro I'm thinking bro I just pulled my hamstring bro <laughs> you wanted to force this off I want you to explain Okay, obviously you might not have pulled your hamstring, but mm. it's not a thing where you get up after a couple of days and start kicking no. ball again. I like. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Yeah, Thank that's you. You got to take care of proper still. <laughs> you have to look after <laughs> that one. Facts, bro. I still feel it to Hammy this day, is, bro. Is, is, it's a dangerous one, Hammy still. Yeah, yeah man. Don't rush back from injury, man. Don't listen to people like him, bro. Like yeah, him. Don't yeah, people bro. like yeah. him. Don't listen. Yeah, to him. don't listen. Don't really man, careful, he retired man. early from injury as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That I'm I'm not lying, though. Oh yeah, shit. bro, you can be. You can cutting. do that though. Yeah, bro, I can't you run can, around can, and kick ball, run. bro. You can walk slowly. It take me time to start running, bro. I man, I saw it the day my man popped his hamstring. But two days later, I see my man walking normally. He like, saw me the same day, but I was. Well, I left the match on. Oh, no, walking, no, walking. no. Imagine. Let me explain. Yeah. <laughs> imagine I was calm. This is again why I asked you like. Does anything trigger it or anything like this? Because I had never been injured before, innit? Mm. Just like you, you said you never yeah, been never. injured. I've done, time, one sprint. I've done one sprint to a ball, yeah, to the ball, and I just felt a, just a pop. Yeah, you might be just cold. That's something popped. I said, yo, you but because, you know, it doesn't hurt straight away, and I've never been injured, and I refuse to believe that I just pulled my hamstring, mm, innit? Mm. Man always sees Seth Fabregas and them, man, pulling their hamstring. I refuse to believe <laughs> that I'm pulling my hamstring right now. Physio came over. He was like, how is it? Like, like what's going on? Da, da, da. I was like, oh, no, 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 I'm calm to get up and carry on, innit? Mm. I was like, oh, 
I just felt a pop in it in the back. He said, nah, 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 you're coming off. You're yeah, coming so off. You, you After that, that pop, I was hamstrings. Rough. You've got to come yeah. off, big man. Can you play five a side and now with your knee? No. I don't, I don't like to. Mm. I was, I, bro, I get asked all the time to play five overs. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. nah. I'd be paro that you're going to feel like a little... I tried. I tried during, during lockdown. I tried. Peak. What is it? Is it the fact that you can't play how you used to play or is it the fact that you just feel ache, you still feel achy, something? I'm just okay, achy all okay, over. Okay. My knees will be aching for a couple of days after as well. Sheesh. Um, so it would kick ups and that hurt. Yeah. Any, any little niggle, if someone stab, still like, stood on my toe, bro, just kills to know even more than it used to. It's just long. Yeah. <laughs> it's just long. Right. And I'm unfit now as well. It's long. Mm. Yeah, no, but obviously, let's try not to be too negative. Looking at the positives, you can walk. Oh yeah, yeah it can, can still work, still you know, run. It could be worse. Yeah, like, still ride a bike, still can do most things. You get me? So it could be worse. Could be yeah. worse exactly. So and your career got prolonged. Like Corey said, how much time has you got a call up to? Mm-hmm. Yeah, get, trust. Getting that to the not everyone yeah, gets yeah, yeah. Bro. Not everyone uh, gets that opportunity. There. I was yeah. in there for as long as I could. So I don't done all I could, man. It was just it was just it was, it was time. Yeah. You still came back, yeah, and got that yeah. one TV experience. Yeah. That's lit, still. I can't lie. I tried, bro, but. Even now, um, that mindset about being a footballer now is it's gone now. Yeah, know. yeah, of course. You find a new schedule, it. Yeah, it's just yeah. a few other things now. I before, can't before laugh. I'd be like, oh, I can do it again. Football, football. But now it's like, okay, you're not a footballer no more. You was, mm-hmm. not no more. Stop it. Maybe it's yeah. good that you've accepted it, though. Yeah. You just said the words out of my mouth, so I was gonna say that Bro, Project it, Mbappé. It, it, it depends. <laughs> everyone knows Project Mbappé on Twitter. Mm. It, it depends. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna push him <laughs> to football, but I will make him obviously play obviously different activities, see which one he likes. But I, I pray it'll be football. It'll be football yeah. So I might obviously push me a little bit. Say, yo, let's go play ball, man. But me, I'm, I'm pushing. pushing I think everyone pushes. See, you're one nice. You're the ball. nice guy. Me, I'm pushing. <laughs> I'm kicking. Even if you're crying, kicking that ball, bro. We're kicking ball, bro. He's not going to know what basketball, tennis, <laughs> golf, none of these. Just football, bro. Football's the way, man. Just football, lie. Still. Yeah, no, I can't lie. Facts. Football's the way. <laughs> football is the way. Still, is yeah. the way. It's the way. Especially with the money in it now, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. What kind of... What kind of you know, in the modern day now, yeah, with like centre backs and that, you got the centre backs that can play full back and do a little shift at CDM. Mm. Do you get it? What kind of centre back would you say you was oh. without bigging yourself up too much? No, I'd be humble. Talk your shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> or is you like a people going to be YouTube and your highlights you know what, and that? You know what, so careful you know what, what you say. <laughs> I would. I wouldn't say I was a ball playing centre back. Mm. When I first joined, Charles, I was very raw. Like mm. my touch was a bit baggy, a bit loose. But as the years gone on, I start to develop that bit of okay. Technical now. I can play a bit now, so I got comfortable playing on the ball. So I'm more like a like a Vidic. That's what I was gonna say. Okay. Clean up, like Everything a Vidic. Messy. Clean up. Yeah. Boof. Wait, what but foot are when you? it comes oh, right, right. right foot. Okay. <laughs> so if it comes, I can you know do a little little die little zing or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Little swaz. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I wanted to ask as a as a centre back defender. Who is like, have you ever, for, okay, first question, have you ever like had one of those days where you're just getting smoked? Yeah. Like you're, you're just having a tough time, mm. like. And do you remember We had people on before, did they didn't want to admit that. That's, <laughs> how, that's how I want to know, do you? Yeah, that's, what, that's exactly what I was going to Yeah, that's what I was going to get yeah. into next, um, yeah. That jumping question. <laughs> that question there, Jermaine Defoe, he, he taught me. Ooh, yeah. No, that was a reserve game. That was just a reserve game, but So he, you, came, you came up against Defoe, yeah? Yeah, they had, he, they, had, they had a good, um, start eleven. Like what I team was? What team? What team Spurs. was? He? Spurs. Okay. And how? Like, how did that go? Like, we we lost. Was it? Oh, s- was yeah. yeah. Six go one. Talk me through this game. I think it was six one. So we're we're, we're, <laughs> we're playing them now. Let me. I want to. Let me hear the story. Going go on, yeah. So, so obviously it. the forward, so he banged two goals. Mm. Boom boom. I just said, like, yo, like, you know, score a goal by a deflection, bro. Like, get me. <laughs> keep on clean and <laughs> getting his head in. That. Get me. Yeah, keep yeah, on clean. Yeah. So we're playing now. Ten minutes in, whatever, and then. Boom, get that one like your feet, bangs it, no deflection, bins. It fares. And just looks at me, winks, and then. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Fares, How does he at the time? time? Jogs on, is that? Fair enough. How does he at the time? Probably early 30s, probably. Mm. Probably early 30s. But wait, is that like it's the toughest opponent you've played against? Because um, you know, I'm looking at the foe thinking he's probably like an annoying little striker. No, he, when I'm thinking he's, tough, I'm talking about. He's one of my favourites. Yeah, nah, but the you, know, like, you know, them flary wingers that are just ripping you, bro. He, he, was, he was tough. He, that. He, he was tough. Mm, okay. Um, Alan Smith was tough. Um, okay. He played for Alan Smith. 
Yeah, say what? Mm. Arsenal, Alan Smith. Nah. I mean, oh, no, oh, no, oh no, that no, Alan no, Smith. No, no, Smith. Oh, <laughs> do you know <laughs> in my head, yeah? No, I was thinking, bro, said, bro, how old are Arsenal, you, bro? Arsenal, Alan Smith. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking <laughs> in my head. You know, you're saying Alan Smith. You know, Alan Smith. <laughs> 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 I'm thinking, <laughs> how old are you, bro? No, I'm thinking no, fake age now because Alan Smith at Arsenal, bro. That's a dad, bro. That's what I was thinking. Oh, you're talking about that Alan Smith. So, Alan Smith, yeah. Lewis Graben, he's played high level. He was good. He was at. Bournemouth at the time, he played Bournemouth. Okay. He, he was really good that day. Mm. Um, Lira Lita, do you know about Lira Lita? Lira Lita. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was a good one. But coming coming through like the ranks and that, like. I was going to say, playing with, who did you yeah, play with? Who was the um, best player you played with? Man. Played with. Must be Shelby. That's what I'm I probably say JJ. I probably, I probably yeah. say Shelby. Like, he's. Shelby the one I've seen that's just technically blessed. He's so neat, man. He's, that's he's, one of my he's a, he's, he's a neat, neat footballer. Yeah. I won't lie. He's, he's one of my favourites, man. You don't get the love, though. You don't get the love as yeah, I don't well. Yeah. I don't see why, because he's technically very good. Yeah. There was a time oh. I was saying he should be getting in the England, England team. Yeah, even if he's in Newcastle, if he's in a team that actually balls in that, he might be. If he was like in a, in a Leicester or something, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he'll probably get into the England team, but because at Newcastle, they don't really play ball, do they? They're more yeah. of a long ball sort of team. What do you think it is? His mobi- lack of mobility. Maybe. But he can move though. That's the thing. He, he, yeah, he, man. He, for he a, a bold man and his and his age, like he can he, move. He can, still, he can I can't lie. What's bold got to do? I don't know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Bro, you're just looking at his appearance. <laughs> he don't judge a book by a cover, bro. You're just looking at nah, a man's bro. appearance. Bro. Either way, I feel like the bold head adds to him still. Like John Joe Shelby, he's just neat, bro. Literally one of my favourite centre mids, bro. I can't lie, like he's so neat, no, technically not, hard. Man. No, he is. <laughs> bro. He's not one of your favourite. I man. swear down he is, no, man. You've never heard you speak about Shelby. Because you bro. know it's you man only we only talk about the neat ballers <laughs> in that, bro. There's certain there's certain players that man literally love the way they play, like they're not they're not your your you know what? He just, does he's just hoping everything. He's just hoping Shelby sees this and jumps on the pod. <laughs> hey, come round it, bro. Come round it. Everything he does is clean stuff. Yeah, man. He's too neat, bro. he's neat. But there's a, there's a time he's in the England squad now. Yeah, he played England. Not really like that. Like, played, but it's competitive, isn't it? He's probably there with what carrot. Yeah, he's played a couple of qualifiers. Speaking of England, though, thoughts on the Euros? Whether they can, it's coming home, as they say. <laughs> or <sighs> as we started the pod, I'm not really a wee kind of person. But at this point, they've played two group I games. I don't, I don't think they can do it, man. Mm. Don't. Reason being, because Gareth Southgate's not really doing what he's meant to be doing. I don't think, in my opinion, anyway. Mm. Like we don't we don't need two DMs. First of all. Cool. Mm. Raheem Sterling shouldn't be playing. Mm. Yeah, I was going to say, what's your front three? Because that's what everyone always talks about. Who would you do as your front three? Everyone's always got a different answer. I, I would leave Foden, Kane and Sancho. Okay. So you playing on the left? Or, or Rashford. Foden, Foden on the no, left? No, no. Um, I'll, I'll leave um, Foden on the right. Okay, okay. Leave okay. Sancho on the left. Okay. Okay. So yeah. you're just dropping Sancho yeah, in, basically. It's between Sancho, Sancho and Rashford. Rashford. Okay. okay. You know what I mean? And you're... Centre backs. Oh, centre backs. For those who oh, don't know, you, wait, if, you're an Arsenal fan, right? Yeah. Okay, so for those if Maguire was fit, mm. I put Maguire and Stones. Yeah, that's a given. That's a given. Do you know um who he would play? <laughs> Let him know. It's changed. Oh, is it? It's Connor changed. Cody. I wouldn't play Connor Cody. Connor it's Cody. changed. It's changed, bro. It's changed. <laughs> what changed? What, what changed? What it's changed. Right, like for the people that's picked in the squad, probably Stones and White. Mm. And White. Yeah, and I can't lie, I can't lie, I didn't know much about Ben White, so I can't sit here and lie and say, yeah, he deserves to be ben in White, there. Ben White's wavy. But I think Mings is a bit of a liability, Maguire's obviously not, do you get it? Me personally, I really, if I'm being real, I would. I wanted uh, Ben Godfrey in there, but obviously he didn't get picked. I wanted Ben Godfrey in there. Nah, not ahead of, not ahead of what we have now. I don't nah, think Ben Godfrey, him. bro, the season he's just had, he's had a very good season, Yeah, and true. in the under-21s, he was playing superbly as well. I probably put Ben Godfrey in there. I like him a lot. Not, not as a star. I think as a star. With he Maguire does. injured. You, you must be crazy. Yeah, bro, no, Mings, bro. Right. But Mings. Crazy, why can Mings be in there then? Because Mings is the best we have next. I'm not going to lie. Mings is better than Godfrey though. After, after Maguire, yeah. it's, it's Fez. I just really... I, I, you I, just like Godfrey Godfrey really if Stones injured, is. it'll be Mings and Maguire. Godfrey yeah. looks neat to me. I like, it looks tidy. Tomori, people are saying. Oh, no, yeah, that's England another one, though. Tomori. He'll move to Nigeria soon. Sorry? He'll play for Nigeria soon. I reckon. You reckon, yeah. Mm. Yeah, facts. Uh, Wamba Saka. He should do. Why wouldn't he? Yeah, he, he should. should do. He should do. He's not really getting a look in England. He should. But as you said, it's the pinnacle, isn't it? So, because how old is Tomori? 23. 23. Mm, yeah. Exactly. So, he, Tomori's probably thinking, oh, wait, for my chance. He's not yeah, going to play, bro. What, what, what Southgate's doing to, to Sancho and Bellingham would be the same what he's doing to them. 
to, um, to but tomorrow. the fact, but the thing is though, Bellingham seventeen, Sancho's twenty, 20 or something. 21. So they're they're really young and but, they're in the squad at least. But that's get it. They should be starting, bro. Bellingham should be starting just because he's Agreed. seventeen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rice and Phillips ain't played European football, bro. Mm. They ain't played European football. Before. Yeah, so uh, yeah, he's stupid. He's Phillips just came to the Premier League, league so. Yeah. Mm. I yeah, it, this is what I mean, bro. I play for your. Play I reckon. Him, bro. Wamb- yeah, nah, play him. Play him You're Congolese, isn't it? Yeah. I reckon you'd probably want Wamba Saka to go play for Congo. I, I reckon he's waiting still. Yeah. I would, I would, man. He'll get the love. Mm. He'll get the love. Get some mm. international games under your belt. Man, you know, I'm not sure right, how, how we qualify for tournaments. That's probably what they look at. Qualifications for major tournaments. That's why they don't really play but, for their. But this is what I mean. If all the good players go and play, you'll go and qualify for the World Cup. You reckon? And that, or even not all, of them are, big, not all of them are going to qualify for a World Cup, though. But my point being is, if everyone just played for their motherland and had all the ballers, there's a high chance that you Ghana qualify for were in nah, the World Cup. Couple of them will get left out, though. I'm not going to huh? lie to you. Couple of them will get Ghana will Ghana will qualify. Ghana, Nigeria, um, Ivory Coast. But okay, th- yeah, those Morocco. clubs, th- Morocco, yeah, yeah those Egypt. clubs will qualify. Other than that, psh. no, but wait, those clubs <laughs> will qualify. <laughs> really but with nah, them having man. these games, imagine, players, bro, imagine everyone played for Algeria. You think that you're getting into the World Cup? <laughs> do you know they, who's they played? Do. For, do you know who's from Algeria, bro? That is true. They've had players, yeah, bro. Yeah, that is true. They got players true. now, bro. They're that champions. Yeah, now nah, I can't lie. Algeria kind of hard. They're champions, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Oh shit, they did just win Africa, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Algeria will make it. Yeah. Algeria will make it. Yeah, I need to. I need to. I need to. But what's that? So that's six African teams. I'm Obviously, not all of them at once, but it'll be more competitive, innit? But that's the point. That's the point I'm trying so to make. So you don't want to miss the out, whole, though. The yeah. whole point is, I don't think they want to miss out. You know a team like England, they're getting in. You know no, a team like France, That's why I said someone needs in. to just start the trend, bro. You get it? Someone needs to mm. just start. In my, they're, they're uh, doing it. They're I get doing it. because it, it seems to be like a second option nowadays. Yeah, that's what I say. It feels like leftovers. It is, yeah. it's, 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 it's something, innit? Get some experience playing international. But yeah, my point was just that, obviously I, I agree it's a pinnacle, love to play for England, but it's England, one of the best countries in the world, but there's too many racists out here, man. I'm sorry, man. But there is <laughs> everywhere though, bro. Literally, nah, bro. there is racists everywhere, there is man. There's everywhere you go, man. But in England, I, I feel like a lot of black players and black people are just not respected enough as Everyone deserves the same amount of respect, but you know what I'm saying, bro. These guys are playing for your country. But again, that's, how can that's you hear it on booze on television, bro? And the stadium's not even half full. <laughs> you know, even it's just about like a quarter full. Man, are booing you, bro, while you're doing the knee, bro. I just think, fuck it, man. Ignorance, isn't it? It's ignorance. Mm. I think they, I think they should have just walked off the pitch, bro. Honestly, if I hear yeah. booing, walking off the pitch, simple. Uh, it's it's crazy though, man, because England ain't the only racist country. France, apparently, some of them get boozed. People don't really want yeah. um, black players. Too, too many black France, players in the French team. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Them black players are winning them the World Cup, Wait, bro. didn't they say... Wait, didn't they they're say... Yeah, yeah, too, yeah. Too many black when players. Thierry Henry and that were playing, they were literally saying there's too much um, black players even, in the French Even team. that kind of recent, they were saying the same thing like a couple years ago. Bro, it's, it's all the same thing, bro. Here, bro. But, you know, but they're like, not saying, but these are the guys that win yeah. you guys' trophies. And like, you did you ever, just lastly, because we're going on a bit, but did you ever experience any form of racism? No. I asked him, I asked him earlier. Why didn't you I don't know, you know. Wait, hang on, for those who, because <laughs> you're not by a man. I got, I got invited when I was young, though. You um, asked why you didn't play for Congo, because they wouldn't have heard the question, mm. innit? So, yeah. So oh, you got invited, yeah? Yeah, but this is like under, I believe like 15s or 16s. Okay, oh, yeah. okay. Um, why, also, why, what was the reason? Well, this, this is for the, obviously the Congolese, like, their youth team. Not yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. So what was the reason that you didn't want to take? I was waiting for England. Ah, okay, yeah, okay, Jimmy, okay. I hear you. Do you play any England caps no, or not, anything? I, I, didn't, I didn't feel I was good enough to play for England, but I heard, like, one time I got st- I was on standby. Mm-hmm. So I kind of stuck to that. I was like, oh, if I can be on standby... Then you England, might have potential. Yeah, okay, then there's okay. a potential way, but obviously... Because does that rule still apply? Oh, no, I don't think it works at youth level. When it doesn't work no, not youth level. Only if you appear, you can't team. then... If, if you, if you appear for the, in, the, in a competitive game for like, England, game, you can't play can't, for... Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's... Again, that's probably another reason why a lot of men yeah, they don't want to make that appearance. Yeah, they want to wait out as long as they can to play for England. And then yeah. if not, then, mm. you know what? Let me go hold up my home nation and see what they're saying. Mm. Not on any draw rats now. Do, who do Congo have now? Do they have any ballers? Balassi. Again, like Balassi, bro. Balassi. Uh, not Wamba Saka. Wamba Saka soon. Wamba Saka soon. Hopefully. Balassi, who else? Uh, yeah. Belonga? Some of those Congolese, yeah. Mm. Congolese, yeah. Congolese, yeah. Congolese, Congolese. Large up Congo, yeah. man. Yeah. See you said him in the World Cup. Well, you don't regret not playing for Congo? Um, not at the time. 
it's, again, it's only it's under 15, young, so it's just too young to even think about it for more so. That's way too young, yeah. Under. It's cool anyway. Yeah, no, I think that was a, um, a wavy that interview was mad still, insightful, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Like, like, like You've man had a we've done a little bit of research, man kind of knew a little bit of your mm, story, mm. that the whole thing. But you explaining Sitting it. here, yeah, yeah, yeah like, yeah. It's, it's deep still. Yeah, like, man, career It's still. mad, like, I feel like you should take it on, but you should embrace it more. A hundred, hundred, I embrace what I've done. Yeah, that's good, that's good. There'll be bad man watching There's bad man trying to achieve what I achieved. Yeah, literally, that's what I'm going to say, that's what I'm saying. Any sort of level, so. What I did to come through that, I'm actually quite proud of that. Still got my shirt on my wall, so. Yeah, yeah, hang that high, man. Hang that high, still. I let that hang there, man. Your nah, I appreciate still. and also the the whole the raising money for prostate cancer and that man. Hey. Respect that a lot. That's lit, bro. Cool, love, bro. Love for that. Bro. Love for coming on this. Hey, pleasure. It's been a good, it's been good, man. I'm still yeah. surprised, bro. I don't know, man. Josh, obviously both. both Everyone knows. Everyone knows, know knows Josh, brother. Older brother, Everyone bro. knows him. Like he's like this hood famous guy. <laughs> yeah, no. When I when <laughs> I, yeah when I first met him, he was like, I'm from Northwest. He was like, Oh, you know this guy, that guy. I was like, Oh, right. Like, yeah, so like the man he, don't even know you like that. He's quite known, my little brother. Yeah, but yeah, cool guy. I can't like you two look alike as well. Yeah, no, yeah. But now that was a good interview. Like I said, appreciate oh, you no, coming nice down, man. Hundred percent, bro. Hopefully, you get you back soon. Thank you, bro. Anytime, yeah, let yeah, me know. Bro. Shout me. I'm here. For appreciate sure, bro. that, man. Cool, Love. man. Love. <laughs> hey, go sub uh, subscribe as well. Yeah. Subscribe. One K subscribers on YouTube now. Keep yeah. doing that up. Instagram, we're trying to get the followers up. Tune into the Spotify as well, man. Mm. For anyone. <laughs> 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 yeah, more guests coming as well. More For guests real, coming. Man. Love my bros, love. Appreciate it. Anytime, no, yeah, I just wanted to ask. Sorry, we're going back into it again. I genuinely wanted to ask: What is there much of a difference? Would you say there's much of a difference between these, prof uh, these professional kind of Premier League Championship managers to the non-league managers? Because I've yeah, seen yeah, yeah. some crazy non-league managers yeah. do some mad shit. Non-league like, <laughs> non non gaffers are funny, in it? They're jokes. Yeah, did you get it? Like, <laughs> yeah. Do you know you what I'm some, saying, You get bro. someone that's got a bit of Man a brain. Man, are personal, like, they get... And then you get some that's like, a bit dumb, in it? A bit mm. brain dead, in it? But they think they know all, but they don't. Okay. Um, but in terms of, like, non-league and that, like, they, they, they want the big players. Like, there's those, those one stage where, like, non-league managers only wanted, like, big tall guys. Um, so if you're, if you're, if you're a small fullback... Yeah, you ain't got really a chance. Again, if you're it? not really a big striker that do it flick ons, facts. you're not really gonna get a lot of you're skinny or, or something. If, if you're if you're wavy coming through like say like a non league team but coming through their youth team ranks, mm. you're decent but like, you're small, but you've got feet in that, you're not really gonna get a look in. Because they want the two big guys experience, all that shit. Yeah. Well, so what is that? Like I've heard a lot of people say that like in the UK they, they prefer their players tall and that like yeah, because obviously solid. It is depends it? what league you're playing, you're playing in the, the lower leagues, the mm. ball's in the air half the time. So yeah, you need to exactly. okay, shit okay. pitches and that. You need to it, head yeah. the ball whenever you fucking can. Okay, do you know what I mean? And, okay. just, and, and be, I hate that style of football. And bro. be strong. But I mean, think but it's the worst. And mm. that's why like yeah, bro. A lot of these small men, they just bust in Spain and that. Yeah, that's just it's literally. Floor, like. but it's different to like academy coaches, where it's different. It's a whole different system. Like, it's a whole different. I think level. I asked you earlier, but I kind of wanted to. You see, like, I've people have said like they reckon that playing in like okay, maybe not League Two, League maybe League One and Championship is harder than playing in a Prem. As stupid as it sounds, but they just feel like. It's a bit more physical, a bit more physical. Would you say that uh, it's a, a bit more required in those lower leagues? Well, I've only played in League One, that's the highest I've played, but I can only imagine playing, being playing in the Prem could be a bit more easier, but only because you get a bit more time on the ball. I'm not saying, that's I'm not, what I'm I'm not, I'm not saying yeah. it's easier to play in the Prem League, so I, I'll never know in it, but it's obviously it's hard at the same time to play Prem League, but it's not as physical as it yeah. is in the, league, in the lower leagues, which I mean, okay. because again, the ball's in the air more time, so you'll fight for headers, you win a few okay. tackles, a bit more. So was it Premier, in Premier League? As yeah, well. it has crisp. But in the Premier, a bit more technical. You got a lot of superstars, anything, elite players. Anything crazy? So different, any any halftime crazy halftime team talks you can think off the top of your head or anything like that that you've even towards you have you just had a shit half or something? Yeah, I've I've had a, I've had a shit half and just um, been ripped like yeah yeah I've been I've been <laughs> why do you say it like that? I'll, I'll be lying like <laughs> nah, I bro you'd be surprised ripped. bro like. I get it, man. I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah games Frank Gaffer say, yo, like, you look how big you are. How you not mm. winning the fucking ball in the yeah. air? Like, big for nothing. You fucking come on. Mm. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? All that shit. There's, like, there's, yeah. The reason I ask, because I'm not, I'm not someone with loads of like first team experience and whatever. When I black like, proper, like, there was one game and this centre back, he was, you know, it was the first half, yeah. And, and kind of like, um, this was at Staines, innit? Mm -hmm. Kind of, he was a bit under pressure, like losing games and that. 
and um, my man the centre back you know like he'll even admit himself everything was just not going right and oh. these times the gaffer's under pressure everything was not going right in it like every touch he's making every movement he's making he's just getting beaten and that I, I feared for my man half time bro I feared for there's, him there's no, there's no worse feeling man playing bad gaffer mm. hey there's juice in, on the, in the game flip the table the w- things he was saying to him yeah i was thinking i would have taken this so personal bro <laughs> like he's just ripping him he's saying you're fucking this and that your shit shit gun da, da, da. flip the table juice has gone over everyone and that see i'm lucky i ain't had that that sort of that's what shit. i'm saying bro <laughs> that's, <laughs> a, that's a bit mad this is i'm like, lucky i had that sort of bro, but i'm speaking to the, i'm speaking to the olders and they're like bro this is not only football bro. Happens, this is man. the this yeah. is the normal bro i've seen i've seen this tables been that. flipped i've seen fucking them, them what do you call them things the, the paper the, and clipboard thing. Yeah, I've clipboard seen them get thrown across the room. That's I've seen, what I mean, bro. <laughs> and again, that that's shit, what man. people don't see. Yeah. Boots being kicked. I've seen Valkyrie. Exactly. That's what bins being kicked. Oh, I've seen shit. it all, man. It that's happens. what people don't see, so. It's part of the game, man. The game yeah, so in those situations, man. do the players that you've played with, obviously, when, it's, when they're being targeted by the manager, do they stay calm or do they react? Yeah, you don't really see don't any react, really. Some I've been situations where I've seen some talk back, be like, no, no, I don't agree. But more times, you've got to listen. You've got to take your L, innit? You've got to take it, yeah. You've got to take your L, bro. Dude, yeah. when, I, when I'm getting ripped, I literally just daydream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just day, I'm, I'm looking at listen to you, but I'm just daydreaming. Yeah, head. you have to still. <laughs> you have to. Don't it's hear nothing, though. bro. But yeah, what, there was that story of um, um, Alex Ferguson and Beckham, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not kicks, the boot and that. Like, yeah. yeah, bro. Yeah. But there's enough stories about that. Fergie yeah. was a ruthless brother. Hair dryer yeah, yeah, treatment, yeah, they call yeah. it or something. Say that again? The hair dryer treatment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'd love to see that. Like, a lot Fergie of was, I like wish these I could tunnel see. beefs yeah. and that, bro. The uh, family yeah, and, wall, mm. and the pizza and that. It's probably better, innit? So Definitely, that's, that's kind of like, oh. No, I love for that, though. That's yeah, all I wanted to know, really. That's mm. calm, really, man. Yeah, really. That's it. <laughs> but you know, um, in uh, when you was coming up through Charters Academy, just over the years, yeah, was you um. How can I explain? Was you was you getting regular game time? So you know there's always probably yeah. the ballers. Like, I don't know. You see that your Reese Nelson at Arsenal, he probably first name on the team sheet all the time in the academy, innit? Yeah. Mm. Was you one of those players? Was you like regular, the, the regular centre back? Yeah, I was, I was and... playing regularly. I was, you, okay. More time I was playing up. Sometimes I'll play up okay. um, in other years. And if I don't start there, I'll probably be on the bench. But um, but I was I was just starting most games in my academy days, yeah. Who's the best team you played against? Um, youth team wise. Yeah, like okay. even talk about you best. Like yeah, that. exactly. That's what I mean. What's the best? <laughs> What's the? I want to ask two different questions. What's the best and then biggest team you've played against? Um. So so what's the biggest team you've played against first? Like biggest name, say. Biggest team. What's this? A new? You talking about youth? Yeah, you talking about youth. We talking about first team football. Yeah, both, both. Well, youth youth team was youth team was in the in our league was Arsenal. Man Fulham, United, Chelsea, nah. Cause obviously, we're, we're in the southern side. Oh, yeah, yeah, of So, course. you got north, you got the southern. Mm-hmm. So, in ours, we had um, Chelsea, West Ham, Fulham, Palace, Arsenal, um, us, Millwall. I think there's one more. I think Reading, I think. Or oh, Watford, one or two. Mm-hmm. Um, so, those teams were, were sick. And then, in the youth team days, Arsenal was the Galacticos of my age, anyway. Okay. Ballers in that team. Do you remember who was in that? Yeah, I was going to say, he must have come up against a couple like, of guys. He had like Jack Walshere, Emmanuel, oh, Eman- yeah, Emmanuel Jack Frimpong, Kyle um, Bartley, um, Cra- um, Craig Eastman, Benneke Phobi. Oh, Craig Ahmed, Eastman's Ahmed the one that done the pod recently. Yeah, Sed- 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 Cedric Gavina. All, okay. all big ballers, bro. Rene Steer, like, a lot of Rene Steer. Manuel Frimpong. That like, guy rings, yeah, his name rings a bell. Rene Steer. These men are were sick like they were what was Walsh you, you did you play against Walsh yeah yeah, yeah. He's, I'm, an, I'm he's, he's another player that's been kind of I'm, hit I'm with their injuries but mm. Arsenal yeah. as a whole and at, that, at that age Cochrane and that you probably played against like that. Sanchez what people like him like mm. these men are just I follow him unbelievable bro. Mm. unbelievable <laughs> like you train the whole week proper yeah, typically yeah. Arsenal you know when <laughs> Arsenal come around the corner look like, oh, Training is different, training is different yeah. for that week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's precise. Saying. As an Arsenal fan, it must have been mad to play against. It was it sick. I remember, I remember my first game playing against Arsenal. This was like under, I think, 13s. Um, Emmanuel Fimpon was playing a striker. Yeah, um, you, know, you know they had the night kit, they had the, the yeah. yellow one, a nice yellow one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was thinking, oh, you know, I was yeah. <laughs> seeing yeah. that. And then <laughs> Arsenal Academy and that the training kit. I was, was thinking, I was thinking, right, that kit's nice, but um. Yeah, it was, it was just it was unbelievable. Like what a team! Like mm. what, what yeah, a setup. Everything, like, everything there yeah. was just proper, bro. Them times they were just winning. FA like they were just bear. winning things. The players that they had, even older, even 
younger than us. Yeah. Like, the players unbelievable. The training facilities there they had was just right. beautiful. Whenever mm. you used to go there, think, oh wow, like pitch yeah. like carpet every time as well. We just walked into perfection, bro. Did you say Wilshire is the best? Then in the youth, oh, for Arsenal, Wilshire was unbelievable. They had J. Emmanuel Thomas, another one, mm. but yeah. they've had they've had better guys, bro. Fuck okay. yeah, no. that but Wilshire was different, different gravy. I feel I for Wilshire, Arsenal's, man, Arsenal's, man. Arsenal's youth was a bit mad, didn't bro, it? Bro, in, in that in that era, they had like four midfielders. They had obviously Jack Wilshire, mm. then you had John Joe Shelby, mm. then you had um. Is it yeah, it's like, like that England, is. England, like little golden four. Yeah. They had like was Bostock Gary Gardner, John Bostock. They were, they were the four main donnies at the time. Nah, that Bostock looked like a they baller. Were, Bostock, Bostock was unreal. Like, he went Barca now. You see, you see, he's gone Barca. He went Barca. I heard he went Barca and he was with Thiago, like under 18s or 16s or something. I, I didn't even know. So I, I didn't even know bad. about that. You know, but them, them four were the golden midfielders. But Palace, see Palace back in the days, they were good. Mm. Apostol, Victor Moses, and the man there, oh, Faniel Klein. Like they had, they had some serious dudes in there, man. So, so youth team days, like our oh, league was competitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like every yeah. team had good players, like especially F- Chelsea. Was FA Youth Cup round there? Yeah, times. we first I got was the quarterfinals. Okay. Did you play any northern teams last year? Yeah, we we lost to Sunderland in the um the quarterfinals. Um, last Who's minute Rodwell? heartbreaker. Huh? Rodwell, like Rodwell, Rodwell. Jack Rodwell. Um, Henderson scored the winning goal. Oh, Henderson. Yeah. Henderson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He loved our keeper. Henderson last minute. Ninety third like oh, like minute. Loved our keeper. Heartbreak, bro. Oh. Oh, <laughs> At the time, they had. Um, you know, like people saying, he, he, he's, just... he's, a, he's a baller on it. Okay, okay. Someone okay. had some good players then as well. This is what and I mean. A lot of people just watch football. And then they they yeah, shit, man. You actually playing against them? I'm probably thinking these men are nuts. He's good still. He's good still. They had the good players, and Roy Keane was their guy for the time. Then he came mm. into our after the games like, "This is the best team like we played against this season. Is it? All the best to you guys." I was the man them were crying and that. <laughs> they yeah. were, yeah, bro. But oh, because well, you just lost. Yeah, quarterfinals. Yeah. It was like a minute from extra, extra time. Mm. So so we should, we should have won TV, that game. No, we should have won. Semis, semis, you get on TV. Semis, you get on TV yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. No, semis, semis, you get on TV. Yeah, yeah. No, semis, semis, you on TV. Wait, what yeah. cup was this? Sorry, FA, FA Youth, Youth Cup. Oh, FA Youth Cup. Yeah. So I was playing. I was playing up. Me and John was playing up. Okay, okay. So it was like six, fifteen or sixteen playing this one. Sweet. This is what I mean. Like people it's look at it. It was sick. Like it was unbelievable run. We played some good teams. That's amazing. So you played Chelsea? No, um, not in FA Cup, but in general. In yeah, in general, they were in our league, weren't they? Chelsea. Who, um, they had like, that you? like Frank Nubel, um, Lee Sawyer. Was that Chelsea? Um, yeah. Who is that West Ham? Um, Gal Kakuta. Kakuta, yeah. Um, no. They got a ban for that. I swear. All, all, all these men, like. <laughs> He's one of the good players. But that, nah, that's what I mean. Like, do you get it? Good, you look good, at the positives and say you lived, you lived yeah, the dream. Yeah, but you played yeah. against nah, Champions League winners. That's an experience. That, Henderson, bro. You played Champions against some quality winners, names there, no, man. It's been, some it's been, big names. Youth team was... I love youth team football. Like, every mm. minute of it, bro. Like, every minute. Youth Cup days, like... Just the, the runs you go on Youth Cup was just mm. sick. Like, the players you play against, like, the people you meet, the tournaments you play in. Like, Night Cup, for example, that's another great tournament. I don't know if that's still running now, but... That used to be like a sick tournament. Did you play any tournaments in other countries, like in preseason? Um, no, I didn't go um, to any other countries, Cholton. Um, I would say where they never like preseason tours on. I they think. they did. It was in the in the Premier League, but when I when I came after, they stopped going abroad. Like, they used to go to Qatar, like in Spain. And Money was these, a bit. These <laughs> different countries. Money must have been a bit. Yeah. When, when I when I when I signed to Scotland or something. <laughs> yeah, when I signed, we probably got to Ireland or something like that. So I didn't really get to experience that on the side, but. Other than that, bro, it's just sick, bro. Playing oh. different stadiums and that, like, it's just sick. Nah, that's lit, man. Yeah, you got the story to tell, man. I can't nah, lie. It's, it's, yeah, it's bro, lit. And yeah. How long do you reckon this pod was? Yeah. All in. Uh, eee, that was him. I started 15 minutes in. Oh, I forgot. Hour 55. Yeah, that's so we got some good. Some good. Yeah. This part definitely got to get in still. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like what Henderson oh, chipped the keeper? That's yeah, the Henderson. That scenes. That's absolute scenes. Yeah, <laughs> scenes. So much heartbreak. That's probably the biggest heartbreak I've suffered. Still. Yeah. That's oh, a heartbreak. Say story. word. Mm. Was it last minute? Yeah. Do you know what we got better to talk about? <laughs> Sorry, it just what, keeps coming up. What's the best game you think you've played in your career? Then I'd probably say when I was at FC Wimbledon, we played um, MK Dons. Mm. Um, that was like the first game at the big round arena. Mm. So it was even to be part of that was just sick in, in, in itself but um, okay. even like the week lead on towards that a lot of media press come out to training ground and a lot of interviews and stuff like that so my first ever big big game and cause obviously the club used to be one then they split to two mm. so it was the first game after ever meeting after like a long long time and it was, it was on TV ITV um, I had a good game 
I had a, even though we lost 2-1, I had a good game. Ah, okay. okay. I, had, I had a good game. They used to be one. What is that? Um, what were they called? Were they called it on a different name? No, they used to be called, um, was just, was just Wimbledon. Wimbledon, 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 Vinnie Jones and that yeah, fam. That, they, 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 they won the FA Cup, no? Yeah, Chris Young and them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy yeah, yeah. guy. And then they, they moved locations. I think like the... I'd love to hear them changing names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. they made their, their own, the fans with their own team. Okay, done. Now that team's in the league. Nah, they're changing names and they're nuts, though. No, but it was, I had a good time on this, though. Like, a very good time. But that was my best game I played, though. I'd probably say. Stand up. I bet Comfort South was loving you after that game. <laughs> <laughs> Comfort South legend. Comfort South, what a league. Wait, some... As in, in the youth team or? Yeah, youth team. Like, during youth football, because youth footballers now, they get a lot more exposure than... Do you reckon, do you reckon people can hear that? What you're asking? Yeah, they'll hear it. Okay, cool. Hmm, such a good question, actually. Um, I don't, I don't really see as much youth team football yeah that's what I was going to ask as yeah. I did back then because obviously I was in it so obviously everyone knows the ins and outs obviously when you're playing in it but but I've done, I done a bit of agent, agency work as well um, that's what I want to get into still trying to get yeah, into yeah I've done a bit of that went to a few games and seeing how the game is now it's a bit ooh I wouldn't say it's as, as technical but probably is probably more technical now obviously now with the ball players got to play out from the back stuff like that in my time we didn't really have to we could, we could have mm. gone route one straight away but now it's all about splitting the defence. Midfield's got to come in. It's all a bit now about tactics and... A lot of teams are trying to so. play out from the keeper yeah, now. Yeah, different formations now, like yeah. the 4 3 now involved, like proper involved now, or like the 5 or the 3 at the back, whatever. Mm. So I think it's more and more technical now, I believe. Did you more better coaches now as well. More foreign coaches coming over. Mm. Well, you, you well. played in a solid 4 4 2, didn't it? I played in a normal 4 4 2, yeah, or sometimes yeah. 4 3 3. But for me, it never changes in it. Some of the players in there. We had our moments. We had our moments in the youth team days where we was just boarding teams off the park and some days mm. we were terrible but we we, we I, I say we were we, we, we played our fair share of ball put it that way mm. we didn't get bossed off the, but guess we but if it's not Arsenal yeah. or Chelsea <laughs> where they have more of the ball yeah. any, any, we, uh, we any top stadiums you played in or best stadiums you played in Um. obviously you would have played at some nice training grounds like yeah Arsenal nice training grounds and stuff um, Bramall Lane was nice um Played at Coventry, Rico Arena was nice as well. Mm. MK Don Stadium as well. Okay. Um, obviously the Valley, um, the Medici Stadium in Reading, that thing was nice. You ever been? Like, Cardiff Stadium, that was nice. Mm. You ever been like, apart from at Waitrose, have you ever been stopped by anyone asked for pictures or any autographs or anything? I've, like I've that? seen, I've seen a couple of people after. Um, not really pictures. We have a little conversation like, "Look, hi, how are you doing? I okay. oh, see you doing well with this shit." Um, yeah. But the other day at work, I was now in Korea. One of the t- top drivers was like, "Are oh, you the member?" I was like, "Oh, I was like, oh, yeah. same <laughs> word." He's like, "Yeah, I was like, I support Joe." I was like, "Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I was like, oh okay, yeah. shit, here we go again." <laughs> but, but, but this time he knew about my injuries. Like, oh, how about your injuries? Like, how you doing yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. He was a nice guy to be fair. Had a little chit chat with him. Um, but yeah, but yeah, it's, it's apart from that, not really. I, I think that's something to be proud of. They actually get noticed by Charlton mm. fans. Yeah, it's, it's still mean. nice and they still and they still notice you in that. So um, yeah, yeah, that's nice little buzz. Mm. Any more questions, lads? You know them ones, yeah. Nah, that's lit. You're a Charlton legend, still. Charlton legend. Yeah. Comfort South legend. Comfort that's South, South, Com- Comfort yeah, South man, legend. Everywhere, man. <laughs> nah, I'm you had the career stuff. I can't lie, man. That's lit. Nah, I've been grateful. I've been blessed from mm-hmm. what I've achieved. So yeah, yeah. totally grateful. Facts, man. Hot.